FPPRadio.com. You help fund FPP Radio News. Amagi Metals offers beautiful gold and silver rounds and ingots at great prices. Amagi Metals carries the 50-gram Cumbi Bar, a 50-gram gold bar comprised of 50 detachable 1-gram gold bars. They also have a 100-gram silver Cumbi Bar and much more. Amagi Metals also accepts Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dogecoin, allowing you to convert your cryptocurrencies into precious metals. Shop Amagi Metals online at gold.fppradio.com. Dot com. That's gold.fppradio.com. The Foster's Democrat newspaper in New Hampshire reports former Massachusetts Senator Scott Brown began a listening tour on Friday. During the Northeast Republican Leadership Conference in Nashua, Brown announced the formation of an exploratory committee to prepare for a run for U.S. Senate from New Hampshire. The announcement ended a year of speculation about whether or not Brown would challenge Democratic Senator Gene Shaheen this fall. Brown made it clear that it is no longer a matter of if he will run, but when he will declare his formal candidacy. He said he is very serious about the challenge of taking on Shaheen, who was a popular former governor. If Brown is the GOP nominee, it is very likely that Libertarian Party nominee Gardner Goldsmith will obtain the 4% needed to give the Libertarian Party ballot access in 2016. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Coinbase also allows you to buy and sell Bitcoin using a bank account or use their tools to accept Bitcoin as a merchant. All of your funds on Coinbase are safe, with approximately 90% of customer funds being stored offline, and all wallets are stored using AES-256 encryption. I trust Coinbase. You should too. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. A federal judge on Friday called laws against state recognized same sex couples mere footnotes in history. The Christian Science Monitor reports as the legal battle over gay rights shifts to the South. The big question now is whether Southerners have tacitly begun to agree with the notion. The injunction ruling by Judge Alita Trauger covers three couples who filed a lawsuit last year against the 2006 state constitutional amendment in Tennessee that both bans gay marriage in the state and orders officials not to recognize marriage certificates from other states. The judge has not made a final ruling in the case, but did seem to tip her hat on Friday. Judge Trauger wrote in the order, at this point, all signs indicate that, in the eyes of the United States Constitution, the plaintiff's marriages will be placed on an equal footing with those of heterosexual couples, and that proscriptions against same-sex marriages will soon become a footnote in the annals of American history. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Over 60% of employers are now checking online amateur pornography of potential job candidates. Is it fair to base hiring decisions on an applicant's online porn? No, th this is not fair at all. For instance, if there's a, a red tube video of my girlfriend slapping me and choking me and riding me, yeah. that shouldn't be an indication I'm going to lack leadership in a work situation. Yeah, yeah, but there, Duncan, it's going to be hard to convince an employer who's masturbating to that video otherwise. Exactly. My potential employer might see all those videos of my husband tying me up and having his yeah. way with me, and then they're going to think that I'm not going to be assertive enough yeah. for the job. I mean, if you don't want to jeopardize the content of your porn, you can always shoot from the eyes down. Oh, but that's not the same if you cover the eyes. That's where the innocence is. So am I supposed to leave an orgy just because someone shows up with a camera? No one's I saying mean, that's you a... should leave an orgy. No. Right. No. So it's, no. it's more complicated. So now if I go to a party, I wear something like this in case that situation comes See, up again. I like that. I actually shoot my porn in a sepia tone and make it look old timey. So if people see it, they'll think it's my grandfather. And okay. Not this is the Onion News Network. Talk Live, 855-453, that's 855-450-3733. For those of you that don't have the, the letters on your phone dialing thing. You know, I saw a video, uh, it must have been two or three weeks ago, of uh, kids that came in contact with the old Bell push-button phone. By the way, it's, it's Mark with you. 
And Brian. And Stephanie. So these these kids get, somebody lays one of these things down, the old Ma Bell phones, and kind of gives a ding the when you set it down. The rotary kind? It, this you, was a rotary, <laughs> yes. But we had, we had both the rotary and the push button, and they looked basically the same. Yeah. They just changed out a little bit on the, the you know, the, um, the way it looked. And, th- you know, ask the kids to sort of fiddle with it and talk about it, and they're like... Is this a telephone? <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, it looks so different than what we're used to as t- cell phone uh, telephones, which is a cell phone. Right, and, and one kid I thought was interesting uh, differentiated that this is a telephone versus a phone. So, <laughs> right, That's so cute. In, in his worth in his world, a mobile is a phone and Yeah, that's uh, the real phone. <laughs> that's, that's actually pretty like that's a pretty accurate distinction to make because I mean the cell phone doesn't really I mean yes, it still runs on some degree of telemetry, uh but not it's not the same as to, you know, I, I think that's accurate. Scientifically, it's accurate. I, you know, I just I thought it was interesting these yeah. kids being <laughs> introduced to this uh, piece of technology that was so important in my world when I was growing up that is just they don't use it much anymore. And I think it's becoming less and less. More more American households are just giving up the wires. On landlines, yeah, yeah, absolutely. In fact, you know, I think it's an interesting thing to really to that nobody talks about because you hear all the time from previous generations where it's like, well, back in my day you know or we used to have this and all this stuff and it's like you used to have what you know the world changes so fast not not just now it was changing fast 100 years ago and none of these things are normal it wasn't changing nearly as quickly i mean technology yeah maybe it sped up a bit but still nothing can be considered like even the rotary phone is could never be considered normal it was only around for what 50 years out of 10,000 years of human recorded history, that's I gotcha. not long. Sure, but uh, whatever happened in the first 20 years of your life is the way things are supposed to be. And that's right. <laughs> that, uh, there's yeah. the truth. <laughs> People get stuck, yeah. So if you want to use your telephone to call us, it's 855-450-FREE, or you can use your mobile. Or, or you can call us on Skype. That's right. right. Our username is lrn.fm there. So you'll have to send a request in and then we'll, we could do it right during the show. We can approve your request during the show and then you can call in. And so that's lrn.fm as in Liberty Radio Network. And let's get on with the topics here, shall we? I find this whole naming of a day, a week, a month, a year or whatever for things and then sort of pushing that agenda to be distasteful and boring generally so oh mark by the way you didn't know it's prostate exam day i'd love supposed to get yours i'd love to get well (laughs) sunday's a bad choice but uh, (laughs) you know and tomorrow's uh national don't get a shrimp caught in the back of your throat month right Uh, i mean you know it's just there's a lot of that however I, you know, when it fits my agenda, I suppose it's a time to to go ahead and, and talk about uh, yeah, something. I like May. May's, <laughs> May's uh, National Masturbation Month. Is that so? Yep, big fan. I, I thought you were going to say breast cancer awareness. Oh, I like that one too. <laughs> <laughs> There's interesting, uh, apparently some school is taking it to the Supreme Court that girls aren't allowed to wear, excuse me, students aren't allowed to wear uh, wristbands that say I love boobies, the pink ones uh, by the... Uh, wow. What's the... Or organization that oh, copyrighted. the Susan, oh, Susan G. Komen yeah, Foundation, yeah. which, yeah, they have their issues. They have, like, copyrighted a shade of pink. Yeah. They take they sue other charities for um, using that color. Their color pink. And the uh, For the Cure is also copyrighted by them. But, I mean, regardless of your problems with them, that's just kind of free speech. Indeed. Right? I think it's, um, you know, I mean. What if wait. they had a bracelet that said, I love lungs for lung cancer <laughs> Look, months? If, you if know? the kids were still like, you know, a year old, nobody would have a problem with the fact saying I love boobies. No. I mean, come of on. course they do, right? You know, yeah. That's how they eat. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think um, I think the, the difficulty with schools is, is that you can have whatever sort of level of deportment you want to have at your school. And that's fine if it's a private school. But when you have a public school and you have all these people with all kinds of different opinions forced to pay for the funding of your and the running of your school, that's when it all runs into problems. I mean, I can say whatever I want to say about the most conservative religious school banning rubber things that say I love boobies on them. But that it, it it's an entirely different situation when they take my money mm-hmm. and maybe or may or may not my one of my parents uh, you know uh, you know somebody i love died from breast cancer and i want you know this kind of fundraising mechanism to be used elsewhere it's a great marketing strategy right sure who doesn't love boobies it right. is
Well, apparently today is um, Open Borders Day. And we talk about Open Borders on Free Talk Live often enough that I think it, it bears a little bit of uh, explanation. So I I'm thought curious I would, who, who declared it Open Borders Day. Probably the people at openborders.info. Mm-hmm. And what's their, <laughs> what's their shtick? Their stick is that they think that open, the borders should be open uh-huh. to everybody, everywhere. Okay, I like that. Now, obviously, we live in uh, we live on planet Earth, where there are geopolitical uh, designations, and the chances of, for instance, North Korea opening its borders on the same day that the United States or you you pick the freest country in the world. I don't know what that is. Uh, opens its borders. I think that that's going to be an entirely different situation. Now, many con- countries up until prior to 9-11 basically operated on open borders uh, systems. They wanted people to come in. They wanted them to spend money. And you can still get into most uh, South American, Central American, Caribbean countries and spend money all you want. They don't care. They have <laughs> taken some money from the federal U.S. federal government, the State Department, to, uh, you know, to put some show in the way. But mostly they don't care. And even if you want to go work, they still really don't care that much. It's just their bureaucracies are being built up by the United States. But here in the United States, there's, you know, there's a few different classifications of uh, people who dislike the idea of open borders. One, the Republicans. Well, what do you think the Republicans, um, you know, some Republicans, obviously, which what do you what do you think that it is that they dislike? Brown people. You think that there's, okay. So I think that there are racists who do not like open borders. I don't think that most Republicans are racist, and I think that that can be uh, evidenced by the- Okay, I'm conflating the two, obviously. Yeah. You're right. But I do think that most uh, you know, out-and-out racist organizations tend to lean Republican as far as their membership yeah, goes. Yeah, well, what, what about that group? What was it? The- um the uh, oh, what were they called? The the group that would like sit on the border and like basically Minutemen. act the Minutemen. Yes, they were pretty much considered to be conservative types, huh? Yep, yeah, and I think that some of those people are about law and order. Yep, I think a lot of them are. Um, so some of them are just a flat out bigotry, and I think that's a small percentage, but it's it's the easiest way to be bigoted, right? Yeah, I mean, bigots will hide under that cloak, but do you think that there Why are... Why do you think they do that? I mean, if what you say about race is true, right, just, and good, then just come out and say it. You don't have to use <laughs> right. code words with me. <laughs> just come on and tell I me. I wish they would, because then you'd know who they are, right? And you could stay away from them. <laughs> come on and tell me why people with cockatin in their skin are better than people with melanin in their skin, and what it is, you know, that... you know. Tell me. I don't I, I don't care. Um, you know, convince me. Well, Mark, it's our culture. They're destroying our culture. We have this very important spirit of freedom in America, <laughs> and uh, people want to come in and take it away. But why would they? Uh, why are they fleeing to a free country to take away the freedom? Well, because that's they just hate our freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that is. So there's right. that. That's so there's a little bit. And of, I'm obviously we don't have freedom here. No. So there's a little bit of xenophobia. Right? Yes. So now that's different than um, that's different than racism or bigotry, but it's it's, it's a, in yeah, there. it's related. I'd say they're in the same family. Yeah, but but yeah, sure, xenophobia. Um, what well, like you said um, a few minutes ago, the protectionism is in there too. Right. The fear they're, that they're some, taking our job. Yes, that, that, that's that thing. a big one. That's and I think and that's kind of related to xenophobia too. I think that the law and order folks, you know, the they're illegal. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. The conversation's over once I say they're illegal, <laughs> right? right? Well, so, <laughs> and and I'd like to talk about all of those things too. Yeah, so I've let's got a list go. of the benefits of open borders, and I would like to talk about sort of the um, you know the other parts. And if 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 there are parts I've missed, please let me know. Eight fifty five. 450 free free talk live everybody wants to know what can you buy with bitcoins isn't there like a bitcoin general store or something well yes now there is and it's at bitcoingeneralstore.com bitbrew and the bees brothers have teamed up to create a place where u.s customers in the lower 48 can shop for well anything with free shipping what can you find at bitcoingeneralstore.com Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. 
the folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. You gotta see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth slide into a recession or at worst depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. I'm Nick Soboleski, a SelectQuote agent with a true story of how SelectQuote goes to bat for you buying term life insurance. A while back, a man called me who had had prostate cancer. He asked if I could beat a very high quote another life insurance agent had given him. I said, let me see. Well, I took his pertinent information, then shopped the highly rated, price competitive companies we represent, and found one who pre-approved him for a premium way below what he had been quoted. When it comes to term life insurance, no other company touches select quotes, experience, and expertise in finding the right policy at the right price for almost anyone. How about you? For your free quote, call 1 800 945 1041. That's 1 800 945 1041. 1 800 945 1041. Or go to selectquote.com. We shop, you save. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest Liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Or you can call us on Skype at lrn.fm. It's Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. And we're talking about open borders. It's it's Open Borders Day. And, yeah, I think that the whole name of a day thing is trite. Um, I'll give you that. But, <laughs> I, you know, nonetheless, I, I, I it's an opportunity, right? So let's uh, let's use the opportunity. So um, we in the last segment, we were talking about kind of the arguments for closed borders. And the, I'd like to start with they took our jobs. Um, the one, you know, the the idea that uh, that labor should be restricted while passing over borders. But uh, you know, for instance, uh, with the NAFTA treaty, now goods and services can pass over borders for Canada and Mexico all they want. That's fine. No big tariffs there. That's uh, you know they've made this contract that the Americas should goods and services should be able to or goods should be able to pass across borders. But labor. Services essentially can't. People, individuals, 
can't do it because that would supposedly diminish and I think it's I think it's realistic to say that it would diminish the um, sort of the, the you know the costs when supply demand right well I don't know if I really agree with that yeah I mean you could say like if there are a bunch of people who can all do a for instance a low-skilled job mm-hmm. sure then there's not going to be much but I work as a voiceover artist okay and essentially it's a global marketplace. Yep. I'm competing with people from all over the place. Nobody cares if I live in New Hampshire or wherever, as long as I have the right accent that they're looking for. Yep. But, um, you know, there are all kinds of people every day who decide, oh, I think I should get into voiceover. I have a nice voice. And they come into the market and they audition on online casting sites and they um, are, are charging really low rates because they're just getting started out. And there are lots of old hat kind of voiceover artists who really complain about this because they're yeah. used to being, they're used to basically being in a really protected cocoon where they they have a demo and they send it to an agent and their agent gets them high paying jobs. And well, it now used to we be have, with radio ads mm-hmm. that every time the ad played, yeah, they would get paid. They'd yep. get paid on right. it. Right. And you just can't use that model anymore. <laughs> no, no. Now it's a full buyout and you're doing, you know, a 30 second ad for 150 bucks, you right. know, and, and that's not much, right? When you're used to getting royalty checks for the rest of your life whenever the ad plays. How long does it take you to cut a 30 second ad? I've done a few 30 second ads in my life and I'm thinking. It depends. I mean, sometimes it'll take me a half hour. <laughs> sometimes it'll take, sometimes I do it in one take and it sounds great. But. 150 bucks. I'm just looking, you know. At, in a half an hour. Now, I'm not saying you can line up a bunch of those, but how many $150 half an hours do you have to have in a day for that day to have been successful? Sure, exactly. But you do spend a lot of your time auditioning and doing unpaid work to find jobs. That's sure. the other thing, unless you have an agent. But the point, the whole reason I brought this up is that, you know, it is a changing world. Whether we like it or not, there is going to be more competition in the marketplace for uh, voiceovers or for whatever job. And the flip side of that is that it the consumer, the person who's buying those services, has more choices. It's easier to find the right person, and they might pay less for it, which is great because we're all consumers of something. Right? Yeah, and this is something, too, though, that I think is a real misnomer and kind of a myth, you know, that people are coming over, you know, or, you know, illegals are coming in and taking away jobs. Actually, professionalism as a whole is disappearing uh, by and large, because w- who's really taking the jobs are interns and a lot of <laughs> yeah. unpaid college students that will do the work for free and will not demand the, you know, really what what they're worth. Yeah. You know, th- they're not demanding their worth, exactly. what they should be getting paid. And there's in the writing field, this is a big deal where a lot of writers are getting completely undercut by essentially amateurs. And I don't mean that as an insult, but, you know, th- these a Some lot people of, will write for free. Yeah, they yeah. There, there's professionalism that's just going out the door, and this is happening on a global market. Yeah, it's I not hear... illegals coming in. It's happening probably f- with the young. You're going to have to well, ban the, the these, young people the same from your people country. Who complain about the illegals i think also would complain about the young people but they don't and because it is not uh because you can you can because illegals can't vote um you know people from other countries who are here without the proper documentation can't vote but the the parents of the young people who you'd be complaining about absolutely can they can write letters to the editor they can complain to your boss and they can get you fired but if you say hear- i'm just sick and tired of these young people coming in and taking jobs no one would say that because they're yeah, well, I <laughs> but, mean, but I the- do hear baby boomers say that about them. They have all kinds of things to say about our ah, kids these days. They're well, they're yeah, really lazy. They're, yeah, yeah, plenty of criticisms between generations to go around. But they're not asking for the mass deportation of college <laughs> students, <laughs> right. which is what right. if they are being consistent, they should be because that's where all your jobs are going, and they're getting paid less. It's the same exact metrics and criteria mm. that they put on Mexicans or whatever other group of people that are coming in. That's and, true. That's and a let's great not point. forget, right, not to leave him blameless, the uh, the deporter-in-chief here, Barack Obama, has deported more people, I believe it's twice, what uh, George Bush deported in his presidency. Sure. So um, to, to lay this at the door of Republicans, although I do think that Republicans bear some of the, uh, the, the blame here, quite a bit of the blame, the Democrats, or at least the head Democrat, has certainly been guilty on this one, too. So I think that the the they take your jobs thing can be most readily addressed with history. First off, immigration in this country is not at its highest as it has been in the history of the United States. There are several points in history when it has been higher. And so far, our culture, whatever the heck culture means, has not 
deteriorated. It's not gone away. We have better restaurants, better food. Um, the world, the America's a better place because people were able to come in here and live and live a better life and work within the system that we have. That system being more free market and more capitalistic than most. It's always funny when you try to pin someone down on, well, what exactly is this culture that you're talking about, right? What is American culture? Because I don't really think there is one. I don't think there is what, an American what culture. What actually is it? You well, know? Culture, culture is a dangerous word. Yeah, it has cult in it. it, it <laughs> exactly. It's not just um, your perception of it. It's not just a reality. Because if it was if it was a reality, right, it would be called something like logic, reason, science, um, you know, math, <laughs> or something like that. It's not. It's it's your perception of something that's real. Because I'm not going to claim that culture's not true. Yeah. I'm just claiming that you don't know what the hell it is. Well, right. And I I agree that there's culture, but like maybe more on a local level. You know what I mean? Like I don't really see an American culture that strongly influencing the way that I live my life. I think with mass media, we have some of it. And yeah, perhaps. I don't know what ex- what it is exactly. Can't put my finger on it precisely. If you claim mom and apple pie, here's a news flash for you. They <laughs> like a crap elsewhere. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> everybody likes their mama. Yeah. And I don't know where they have apples, but wherever they have apples, they have apple pie and they like that too. Well, that, so, that's it. It's the looking glass self theory and mass. It's it's not what I think I am. It's not what you think I am. It's what I think you think I am. And it's that just just done on a large scale. And I'd like to point out that, look, cars came along and displaced a huge segment of the society. There was like every 10th person was a blacksmith. And then like every 20th was a farrier. That's right. the person who does like the, the horse nails. He's a mm-hmm. horse pedicurist. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and these people had jobs, but those jobs were taken away with the advent of the automobile. Now, I don't know. Oh, to... people cried about that, too. Well, the fact is, is that they went on and they got other jobs and they did other things. They lived productive and happy lives. Or they adapted. There are still some farriers out there. They're just providing a very specialized service. 855-450-3733 or lrn.fm on Skype. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM1 from Terragonics. Pro-EM1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terragonics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free, 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. 
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Following the news this week that recording artist and industry magnet Bob Dylan would be laying off 2,000 workers from his Muscatine, Iowa songwriting factory in an effort to streamline his music-making operations, The Onion spoke with veteran factory worker Travis Felton, who received a pink slip earlier today. I've been working on the lyric assembly line for 25 years now. Punch in each and every morning, make sure the words are complex and poetic. And yesterday, the foreman calls me into his office to tell me that the company is reducing headcount. They're giving the whole rhyming section the boot. What Mr. Dillon and the other suits don't understand is that here in Muscatine, songwriting is all we have. And we've been doing the best damn Dillon songs in the world for over 50 years. And now they're trying to take that away from us. I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. Well, I guess I could see if they're hiring over at the Tom Petty factory in Hurstville. Lord knows I hoped it'd never come to that. This is the Onion News Network. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. You can give us a call. That's 855-450-3733. It's Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. Brian, you know, sometimes people need websites. That's true. And, you know, you don't want to rely, at least in my opinion, you don't want to rely on, you know, having a, a Facebook account for you know to represent your identity online or a Twitter account to represent your identity online or even a Google account. You want your own stake, your own claim in the digital space. I think that's a really important thing. It's kind of a lost art, but I'll tell you the people that bring that art back to the fore and make it easy for literally every single human being to do. I bet a bonobos could do this is squarespace.com. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think it's so. It's an ape. Monkeys have tails. I mean, especially oh, if you have a, a if me. you have a nice uh, nice computer <laughs> like Mark has, where it's a touch screen. Yeah, <laughs> but if you had a tablet, I think a monkey could do it easily. They could set up Squarespace. It's beautiful. You don't need to know HTML code to do this. Uh, you know, if it help, if you do, you get to just get into the nuts and bolts of it. They let you do that. You can import your website that you already have if you want to do that. Uh, and if you want to start a business. This is really the way to go uh, because, I mean, the, the uptime, okay, which is incredibly important with business in our 24-7 global world, you got to have that uptime that matches it. Squarespace is one of the, if not the singular company that really delivers that good. Uh, and it, it's just, it's amazing. Uh, and they have a lot of e-commerce options now. So if you do have that business, all and they keep adding, they keep adding more e-commerce options. They, It's incredible what they allow you to do. And it's so simple to set up. You don't need to... To, you really you don't need a whole any programming language you just got to have your idea you got to know what you want to do and then just go to squarespace.com and do it and you can use the code ftl3 and you can get 10 percent off whatever you decide to go with their uh the, their their plans are incredibly inexpensive especially considering the value that you're getting i you know i always say i mean you know, it's nothing wrong with someone charged a lot, especially when you're getting award-winning templates for your websites like Squarespace offers. But, you know, profit's not a dirty word, but value isn't a dirty word either. And they deliver incredible value for the amount of money that, uh, you know, that that you pay because it's, it's really inexpensive. And again, FTL3, and that'll get you 10% off anything you order with Squarespace.com. Right. And nobody, nobody gets all bent out of shape that Squarespace offers websites for a dollar less than the next guy. But they're taking the web designer's jobs. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. And, and what they're doing is, is they're not taking their jobs. 
They're not. I mean, no. they're, the fact is, is you can no. Keep they're your offering job. somebody somebody something that they want more. You, right, and for, that's <laughs> that's a really important thing. Is is that to, to suggest that a job is yours? So a job is a relationship. It's a relationship between the employer and the employee. An employee gets to decide every single day whether or not they want to come to work. Really, they yeah. do every day. They decide whether or not they want to come to work. In here in the United States, it is a rarity for somebody to to show up at your house with a gun or a bullwhip or both um, <laughs> and, and that, that you didn't that you didn't call in special from an escort service right. um, and and demand that you do things. So an employee gets to decide every single day whether they go to work. The employer. Well, that's what you are when you're buying something. When you're bringing a plumber to your house and you're deciding based on price and service and reliability and, you know, what time they can show up and all the things that go into the the equation when you decide on your plumber, well, you shouldn't be forced to take the most expensive dude or woman or whomever. You shouldn't be forced to take them by gender either. <laughs> you shouldn't be forced. And um, that's the same reason why I think that this uh, they took our jobs thing mm. is is really a spurious complaint. You might want to take the most expensive one, though, because sometimes the most expensive one does an actual better job. So right. they're they're offering a different kind of service than you would get with the cheapy plumber or whatever. Maybe your toilet's going to be leaky in a month or something. Absolutely. And this is the thing that unions, so many labor unions out there in in the country, really offer. And I'm talking about private sector unions. Public sector unions really don't offer much but piracy. Um, But private sector unions, these guys... They're the best of the best. Yeah. When you go, when you get the you know a five ninety seven and out of Chicago pipe fitters union, and you're putting together say oh I don't know a nuclear power plant, you want them right. You're not going to hire <laughs> some, some plumber from Poughkeepsie. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to get the. You're going to go get the. Yes, as a matter of fact, I happen to know that uh, they were they were putting together a um, nuclear power plant in Alabama. They went to Chicago, got the guy out of, got guys out of 597, and had them put it together in Alabama because they didn't f- know if they couldn't trust anybody in Alabama to put it together. Wow! So this is where you go for the craftsman. Wait a minute, I thought unions were bad. I don't think there's any. No, I don't think that uh, unions are bad. I think that uh, bargaining with the power of the government exactly. on your side is bad. Um, I absolutely, totally agree. You know, one thing I didn't don't really understand though is things like um, in, in New York, there's a bellhop union. I'm not thinking you're getting the craftsmanship in Bell. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I mean, some of them are, are pretty, yeah, I guess like how much can they really offer? But I, I guess there is a degree. Do you think of, you that could be a, a dangerous job? Oh, it has the potential. Oh, absolutely. I think everybody should be able to collectively bargain. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, like that's a right. Uh, that you should be able to, I should be able to talk to you. We should be able to come to some terms and we should say, you know what? This is fair for us. Let's go talk to the boss and say that, you know, that that's this is what we want, and if the boss wants to fire everybody because they talked and came up with some ideas about how they could be treated better and how the, you know the everything could be done better, then that boss stinks, and you should go work for somebody else anyway. <laughs> yeah, you know I, I think the worker border thing is is very much at the heart of a lot of this. Uh, well, it's at the heart of patriotism. I think it's at and and I mean patriotism is a bad thing, uh, and it's at the heart. Usually use jingoism if you want to call it a bad thing. Sure, uh, yeah, and it's at the heart of of you know the closed border situation, and it's unfortunate because the United States in particular was a country that supposedly, you know, that we're told anyway was making a statement against feudalism, was making a statement against monarchy. Okay, and this is where all this comes from. This whole idea of, of of closed borders and all this stuff and workers, it was, you know, the serfs, it was the, the you know, the, the the peasants. They wanted, the you know, the security that the feudal lord gave to them. And so they created essentially borders within which that they could work and they could take the deer from that certain area and all this stuff. All this stuff, it's, it's feudalism and it actually hasn't gone away. And so there, I feel like there's this kind of this big lie in American culture, whatever that means, that says, oh, no, you know, we, we don't we, we're free now. We have democracy and we're away from the kings. No, not really. You're still living the same kind of life. You're still doing a, you're, you're a neo feudalism. Yeah. 
in a lot of ways, I think that that's uh, that's a true statement. Yeah. So I have um, this list of things from OpenBorders.info about the benefits of opening borders. Um, and now, if you if if we're missing something, um, you the listener out there, if we're missing something as far as uh, you know why people might want closed borders and what you think is reasonable about that or unreasonable about that, please give us a call at eight fifty five four fifty free. However. Um, here are some benefits as listed by openborders.info. Number one, and I think this is a pretty good one, and pretty likely, it double the world GDP. World GDP would experience a one-time boost. That's pretty accurate. Like, mm-hmm. you couldn't keep on opening the borders. You can only open them once. <laughs> of about <laughs> 50 to 150%. That this would allow labor that otherwise wasn't free to work inside the marketplace to work inside the marketplace and make things better. I'd like to point out, and this requires saying every single time, sadly, um, when we do this kind of thing on the show, is I'm not talking about people coming to this country and living off of welfare. I'm not talking about you being forced to pay for the medical care, the uh, you know the food, the shelter, the education of people you don't want to take care of. Now, I also don't think that you should have to do that for people who currently live in this country. I think that it is absolutely right. Why does where they were born matter? <laughs> right. It's ridiculous that you should pay for um, housing and food and care uh, for a person in San Antonio. You know, through some kind of national welfare uh, subsidy, but you don't have to do it from somebody from Ciudad Juarez. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any sense at all (laughs) Um, from a logical standpoint, except that we control this plot of plot of land. Yeah. You know, you even see this on a state level where people say uh, people come to uh, Massachusetts. Never mind. We'll talk about it later. (laughs) 855-450 free. We'll talk about that in a moment. (laughs) 855-450. It's an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855 340 SAVE. 855 340 7283. Results will vary from case to case. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. 
See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Pure Life Water, helping you drink better and live better by providing a zero-calorie alternative to sugary drinks. Visit us at nestle-purelife.us. When kids are playing, they often don't want to stop to keep hydrated, so send them out with a bottle of water and encourage them to take frequent drink breaks or call them inside for a quick sip. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Talk Live, 855 453. You can give us a call and talk about whatever is on your mind. But we're talking about open borders. And I guess it's Open Borders Day. And frankly, that's largely meaningless to me, except that uh, brought it to mind for me. And I guess that's what the idea of uh, these things are. It's Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. So, you know, open borders is almost viewed as a ridiculous notion. Uh, but this country would be destroyed in a week if you opened the borders. People are really scared. I think it's what it comes down to. It's they're they're afraid of uh, losing their jobs. They're afraid that something's going to change. That's the big thing, right? Well, when you really get down to the root. Things of it, will change. Things There's, will. Things yeah. will change. There's no doubt about it. And many countries have, um, interestingly, this country does too. Frankly, programs that incentivize childbirth um now in singapore for instance they are very very clear they've got like, oh yeah they've got jingles and stuff like let's get it on honey yeah, we're gonna make babies yeah make some more taxpayers singapore. it's national night let's do it right and so singapore is really obvious but here in the united states they give money to they don't need jingles they just pay people for having kids i mean that's well, really what essentially it comes down what it comes to, down to. <laughs> yeah. i mean you know the the mother's uh, wick whatever it is uh, women and infants yeah, or tax credits each child child is a tax credit right the republican welfare which is if you fill out our tax form the irs form um, will give you the earned income tax credit the head of household this this sort of stuff hmm. well you know there you go that's uh all that is is just money to make more people they've got more people right across the border yeah if you want more people Please adopt. <laughs> you know, interestingly, here's one thing that I didn't, I've never really understood why they didn't do. Anybody from any country can basically join the military. The military will allow you to do that. I don't understand why the U.S. military doesn't have um, recruitment stations in Mexico. Just across the border, you know, come join up just like the Romans did, you know, create these, uh, do the create French these, foreign legion. Yeah. <laughs> essentially something to the, to that effect is you create uh, you know, this military. I mean, how hard is it in the United States of America to find commanding officers that speak the Espanoli? I mean, how hard is it? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I mean, why don't they do this? I have no idea. People want to come to this country. Oh, they have in Puerto Rico. I don't understand. Why couldn't it work in Mexico, yeah? Yeah, well, it makes no sense to me. Um, I want to tell you about Leader Amp. This is a new advertiser with Free Talk Live, and most people want to get ahead in life, and nearly all of Free Talk Live's listeners would like to persuade people towards the idea of freedom. But did you know that some of the solutions that, uh, that are claimed to help you grow actually backfire? The good news is that 70 years of science shows that even the best leaders can get better, but only if they practice in ways that actually work. 
Dr. Matt Barney, the founder of LeaderAmp, has coached and taught thousands of successful leaders around the world for the last 20 years using the latest science of what works and what doesn't. Dr. Barney has drafted blueprints for a new smartphone application to measure each person and tailor a customized development plan, some of which will be pushed to your smartphone, and his vision will build a uh, community who can access approaches that really work and support each other's development as leaders. Uniquely, it will also allow you to compare your leadership with famous historical figures like Gandhi, Steve Jobs, or whomever, to help you see um, that they weren't perfect, but they overcame their own limitations with practice. The app isn't ready yet. It's being built. But if you want to help um, adva- advance an approach that will grow freedom um, and people's persuasion skills, we'd love for you to join the community. Feel free to pre-order uh, on Kickstarter. And you can go and do that at leaderamp.freetalklive.com. Leaderamp.freetalklive.com dot com to uh, get involved and i'm 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 really interested in this i think i'm going to get involved too so leaderamp.freetalklive.com let's go to the phones here we've got tom calling in from kalamazoo tom you're on free talk live what is on your mind sir hey guys what's going on um just saw the post about the border thing um just wondering if that you're talking about all borders or just united states or uh What's going on with that? Well, I guess I'm. We're talking about. Um, I, I mean, theoretically, uh, all borders, but the borders that we have the most control of here in the United uh, are the ones here in the United States. Oh, we right? don't have much control don't over have any those. Control. <laughs> I guess the ones that are of, uh, are mostly in our, uh, I guess, top of mind. I suppose. Right, right, and you know, it, it, it's it's a sad thing uh, when you see the melting pot supposedly. Uh, make bad decisions when it comes to the borders. And they you, put the lid on the earlier, melting pot. Yeah, exactly. You mentioned earlier about the uh, recruiting stations in Mexico for the military. Uh, I think that's an interesting uh, point that you brought up because uh, the the things with that is, is things where... Huh. Ooh, I think we lost. He's been censored. <laughs> yeah. Ice didn't want to hear his opinion. Uh, okay, so... Um, one one of the rules on free, there's there's a few rules on Free Talk Live. Sorry to say, um, <laughs> it's one call a night. However, uh, the caveat to that rule is is if uh, something weird happens to your phone, and that sounded like for all the world like a landline, didn't it? I mean the way yeah, it, yeah the it way it hung up yeah mm-hmm. hung up. Um, if something happens to your phone for whatever reason, there's some kind of technical difficulty. Maybe he just put his elbow on the receiver. I don't know, but you can call back. It's a rotary telephone. It could, it could be. He could be <laughs> renting it from uh, AT and T. There's still people out there that are renting the phones. This is how they used to get oh phones to you God. back in the sixties. Seriously, wow. I just want to say that older phones give far less information to the NSA than smartphones do. So I hey. do have. Um, <laughs> I mean, you're kind of renting your cell phone in a way, aren't you? You pay a monthly fee. Well, you, Eventually, you, get, you own Usually, it. you get the phone for free, but then it, the the cost of the phone is kind of built in over a two year contract, right? Right. But I have I bought my phone outright, and I pay uh, monthly, at, yep. like fifty bucks a month through Walmart Straight Talk. Right. And you know, it's a service in the same way that you have to pay for telephone service. If you just get one of the old landline phones, stick it in the wall, and you don't pay for telephone service, the only thing you can do is call nine one one, and they're going to get tired of ordering pizza for you so (laughs) (laughs) all right just one last time (laughs) right it's not an emergency when you want a pizza (laughs) um going back to (laughs) the benefits of open borders oh can i just make one point yeah Yeah. you were gonna so in the united states all the borders are open with respect to states you know like borders all over the united states that essentially are wide open except california you can't bring fruit in Oh, well, yeah, that's a good point. That's true. Uh, and th- I'm sure there are some restrictions in other places, but for the most part, there's California. open open borders. <laughs> no, no, it's California. I thought Unless you could bring like... In which case, it's like full-on well, you, tyranny every gu- time you cross. <laughs> yeah, but like you can't bring guns from Montana to New Hampshire. But they don't... You you can, actually, from Montana to New Hampshire, uh, except some states are just a-holes about it. I so see. The okay. federal law is that you can transport a weapon. Now, what does that mean to the state of New York? through which you must travel in order to oh. get to New England, essentially. Um, well, I think it means that it has to be disassembled in your trunk 
with the ammunition not in and it. And don't get pulled over. Oh, boy. It, essentially, just keep on the throughway <laughs> and never stop. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> exactly. So uh, it, it, if you want to pay them taxes, uh, if not, you stay in Pennsylvania as much as you can, um, and then uh, you scoot through on whatever you take. Right. Through. But, I mean, this is an interesting experiment because if states have open borders with respect to one another, people do migrate from different states to others. And some of them actually, you know, people claim that it's a problem. Like, for instance, all the New Yorkers that go and live in Florida. Right. P- people. You used to live in Florida, right, Mark? Did right. people New Yorkers complain went about down that? down to the East Coast. Snowbirds. Um, but we, we got as Midwesterners, so they come down 75 instead of 95. But uh-huh. yeah, I mean, the fact is, is that in Florida, the first 10 to 20 miles uh, from the coast is occupied Yankee territory. I mean, you can go there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Bradenton, Florida. I grew up there, and I don't have that accent. I don't have that Florida accent. Right. Now people will actually get on me for using the accent because I'll use it when I'm, you know, you know, making fun of some redneck cop or something, right? <laughs> and I get it. I get it honest. You know, I grew up out in the country, but my mom was fastidious about how I pronounced words. And thank goodness for Patsy and her fastidiousness around how I pronounce words because. You can't really do the radio thing sounding all like this. I mean, <laughs> unless you do a morning show and you're the butt of the joke, right? I mean, there's that. I, I was one of those invading Yankees into Florida, so from New York. Well, yeah, but that's the point. <laughs> Nothing ha- n- like the world didn't fall apart. The sky has not fallen in Florida because there are New Yorkers and other people that come live there. Same it's thing. Better with- for this, all the states. Yeah, exactly. Same thing with New Hampshire. You know, people complain about the Free State Project, people moving to New Hampshire because they want more freedom. New Hampshireites also complain about the so-called mass holes, the Massachusetts residents that move to New Hampshire and come and register their cars and shop tax-free and so forth. If somebody complains about me being in the state, I just tell them I'll be happy to move once you can go get all the Yankees out of Florida. <laughs> 855-450-FREE, Free Talk Live. Right now until March 18th, the flooring experts at Lumber Liquidators have huge deals going fit any taste or budget, like donor oak laminate for an amazing 39 cents a square foot, beautiful carbonized bamboo for just $139, even spectacular Bellawood pre-finished Bolivian rosewood for an incredible $2.99 a square foot. Pick up free samples at hundreds of stores nationwide, plus special financing available and easy professional installation or expert advice for DIYers. But hurry, this sale ends March 18th. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagen with your Liberty Beat for Friday, March 14th, 2014. Gold open today at $1,376, silver open at $21.50, and Bitcoin is trading at $632. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem, operated by Liberty Beat founder John Bush. 
online, SovereignBTC.com. Support also comes from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. For your residential mortgage needs, call Dorothy, 512-343-6494, or apply online at CallDorothy.com, NMLS 216624. Support for Liberty Meat also comes from My Magic Mud, available at Brave New Books or online at MyMagicMud.com. In the news, Facebook is one of the favorite tools of the NSA. That's the latest revelation from Edward Snowden as published on journalist Glenn Greenwald's website, Intercept. According to Snowden, the NSA uses what's known as a man-on-the-side technique to disguise itself as a fake Facebook server. Codenamed Quantum Hand, the maneuver allows the agency to transmit data packets that trick the computer into thinking they're legitimately sent from Facebook. That allows the NSA full access into the targeted computer. The Washington Times reports that if confirmed, the program would put millions of Facebook users at risk. On Thursday, the Food and Drug Administration Commissioner stated that the agency is still deciding whether to approve a genetically engineered fish. FDA Commissioner Margaret Hamburg said they were reviewing over 30,000 comments on the Aquabounty salmon. Speaking to the U.S. Senate's Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee, Hamburg said they are moving forward in a deliberate, science-driven way. All it would take to bring down the entire United States power grid is the sabotage of nine of the more than 55,000 electric substations across the nation. That's the finding of a study by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, which shows that only a few substations provide the bulk of the nation's electricity. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, now offering pro-pure water filtration, the only gravity-driven all-in-one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes the water. Find them in Austin, 1904 Guadalupe Street, or online at bravenewbookstore.com. Support comes from Mass Appeal, affordable, high-quality printing. Now accepting Bitcoin, online at massappealinc.com. And from growyourowngroceries.org, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, March 14th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. As President Obama's decision on the northern leg of the Keystone XL pipeline inches closer, he's being encouraged by a former advisor. Retired General James Jones, a former Obama administration national security advisor, asked the president to approve the pipeline to send a message to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Jones said the president must make it clear that international bullies cannot use energy security as a weapon. Attorney General Eric Holder on Thursday voiced his support for shorter prison sentences for nonviolent drug traffickers as part of a Justice Department effort. The New York Times reports the push to lower sentences is viewed as a way to bring down federal prison costs while creating a more humanitarian approach to drug crimes. Holder told the Sentencing Commission that in a country where nearly half of all federal inmates are serving time for drug offenses, the harshest penalties should be reserved for violent criminals. At the age of 27, Stephen Powers suffered serious injuries to his face and skull as a result of a motorcycle crash. Powers' skull, upper jaw, nose, and cheekbones were shattered. For years, doctors struggled with facial reconstructive surgery, but now with the help of 3D printing, Power has been given a new face. Doctors at Morriston Hospital in Wales use 3D printing to create models to fashion new bones and facial implants. They used a combination of 3D printed materials and medical grade titanium to reconstruct Power's skull with precision never before seen. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Online at affordablesound.com or give them a call 512-459-5253. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, March 14th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagen reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. From that romantic summer evening in 1924 when Pol Pot was conceived, to the first time someone figured out how to eat a pineapple without ripping their mouth to shreds, this week in history, 1692, five citizens were executed after being convicted during the Salem witch trials. 
All while dozens of witches, warlocks, and sorcerers stood by and watched the wrongly accused take the rap for them, while the perfectly normal humans charged with witchcraft were publicly hung and dragged to their unmarked graves, the numerous Salem citizens that did spend their evenings casting spells and awakening the dead merely lowered their heads as their friends and neighbors were burned at the stake. Historical records have indicated that as many as 35% of the people in Salem were actually witches and warlocks. In fact, the executioner himself was a well-known necromancer who who, after hanging the wrongly accused witches, reanimated their dead bodies and apologized before casting them into the eternal fires of hell. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. I'm saying free at the end. It probably sounds a lot like three. But <laughs> what are you going to do? I mean, it's AM radio, and it's not the you know not the greatest then, uh, sound quality. Then you end up like slobbering into the microphone. No, th- 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 three. <laughs> three. Not, not three. three. <laughs> 855-450-FREE. Um, it's Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. We're talking about the idea of opening up borders here in in the United States and around the world. And it's, I guess, Open Borders Day or something. And it's hard for me to get excited about these days where they just name it something. But I, I it did bring it to my mind. And I like to really dig into a topic. If yeah, we can here this is Free great. Live. And this is one of those topics where you really can because it's surrounded by so much um just belief and belief in nothing, you know, faith like, yeah. based, faith, faith belief. based magic beliefs. Yes, <laughs> totally. And, you know, like you need to tear that stuff down. You need to try something new. So many people who say um, you talk to people and they're like, yeah, if I lived in Mexico, I'd do everything I could to come here and live a better life for myself. But since I'm here, it's against the law and the law is the law. And I just we, it, illegal. Illegal, <laughs> you know, like, and, and it's it's insane. I, yeah. You know, well, I mean, good. either the law is good or it's bad, and if it's bad, then you sh- then people should disobey it. Well, I mean, if you've ever gone faster than the speed limit, if you've had a drink of alcohol before the age of twenty one, if you've smoked marijuana, guess what? You're an illegal. <laughs> well, you know <laughs> right? what? I think that people should wear the term illegal with pride. Um, yeah. The fact is, is if Absolutely. you look at 9,000 years of human history and what laws have been used for, yeah, I know you've been told, we're a nation of laws. You were lied to. Somebody <laughs> lied to you. Listen to me for a second. The fact is that laws are used to keep you in your place. The people that make them do not want you climbing the social ladder. They do not want you to have better things. No, they, they don't, don't want anything good for you. They want good things for themselves. You should wear the badge. Everybody should be clamoring for the badge of illegal, and people should be ashamed, just absolutely ashamed to be considered legal. I, yeah, I totally agree. I mean, <laughs> I've, Bravo. Yeah, I, <laughs> I've go, made Mark. the statement before that as long as you didn't hurt anybody else, if you break the law, you're a hero. Good for you. <laughs> you know, I think that, that you're just normal because uh, supposedly people uh, do that. I, I've heard the, uh, the yeah, three, three felonies a day, three felonies a day. And I think that's interesting. However, if you go on national radio and you say, I broke the law today and here's how I did it. Well, that's pretty heroic. Um, so, you know, you're welcome to 855-450 free. You know, an interesting case of this actually about being an illegal is Edward Snowden. Bill Gates came out just recently, and he said no. He said Edward Snowden broke the law, so I don't think he's a hero. Are you kidding? I am so glad he wow. broke the law. That I, yeah. Whoa. I, well, you know, I thought that... So Rand Paul tried to, uh, to, to, to straddle this issue, right? And I think that he did the best one can straddle this issue, which is, is to say poorly. Um by saying that essentially, oh, well, you know, Snowden broke the law. But I think that everybody who, you know, all the leaks that showed that people in the NSA broke the law, they should all be held to the law, too. Mm-hmm. Because the the fact is, is the, the law warriors out there, the, the law and order folks are all talking about Snowden. Snowden's leaks showed the United States government that thousands, tens of thousands of people were breaking the law. 
Nobody's calling for their incarceration, but people are calling for Snowden's incarceration. Why? Because they know his name. He isn't protected by some, you know, just the appellation like NSA thrown over their face. No, everybody who broke the law should have to pay if we're going to talk about laws being enforced. So until the NSA and the United States government and the State Department and all these people that have been shown by all the leaks that have come out, are forced to pay for breaking the law, then I don't think Snowden should either. Let's go to Erica calling in from Chicago. Erica, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, I was interested in calling in because uh, you're talking about open borders, and that's a argument I've found myself fruitlessly in over the years. Oh, uh, yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it just, it seems like you can never get through to people. And it, it's especially just, it, I, I can't help but get passionate about it because both of my parents, but both sides of my family have illegal immigrants from uh, Colombia. You mean like terrorists? My family are Colombian. <laughs> <laughs> just go course. ahead and call them terrorists, and, Erica. <laughs> Your abuela is a terrorist. <laughs> I mean, my, I mean, my 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 father had to. Uh, he told me once the story of how he got to the country. He had to. Um, uh, it's funny. Uh, Im, uh, illegal immigrants from Colombia will call Mexico El Hueco, like the hole, because they have to go there and it sucks, and mm. then they have to make their way to the states wow. in horrible conditions. Like he had to hide under a car seat in a truck crossing wow. the border oh. to the United States. Wow. And didn't I, he finally got citizenship later in life, like um, I'm, uh, you know, through you know technicalities for the most part. But um, it's always ridiculous to me when people get into this argument about, um, oh, well, people need to go through the proper means of getting into the country, as if it's this easy thing to do. Right. It's all you had to do is get um, a piece of paper stamped by a government bureaucrat and give them $15. For God's sakes, it's that easy. I mean, people don't realize that these <laughs> lotteries go on. People live and die without ever having the opportunity to move to the United States. It's a mountain of paperwork. Yeah. Uh, you know, here's what yeah, I think they should horrible. do as far as gay marriage goes. The, the folks that can't get married in these uh, gay Republican states should just go ahead and marry folks from Mexico and um, South America <laughs> and let them come here illegally. Yeah. Um, you know, the opposite side. Just just let them, or legally, I guess, or let them come here sort of under the color of law. Let them come here and live a better of better life well, for even, themselves. Even that, we have a friend of the show who uh, is American and he had a Canadian girlfriend and now it's his wife. They got married, but even to come here from Canada on a fiancé visa was a year and a half of constant paperwork for her. And she didn't have a lawyer. She did it herself. But, I mean, she really had to know sort of the tricks and loopholes in the system to even get through it that fast. She said that was a quick turnaround. I've got a friend who's uh, got a, a wife yeah. who is illegal, and they basically can't travel because you yeah. have to worry about, for whatever reason, somebody's going to want to look at her paperwork. Exactly. Go ahead, Erica. I'm you know, it, it's especially, uh, I mean, when um, both of my, both sides of my family, like, they came to the United States in the 80s and they lived in Medellin, which at the time was under horrible violence because of the Medellin cartel and Pablo mm -hmm. Escobar and that whole issue. I think the murder rate at that time in that city was about 500 a month. Yeah, I don't it's see why you people would want to leave like, there. People, it's perfectly yeah, fine exactly. in Medellin. <laughs> And so when people tell me, oh, you need to just go through the hoops, it's just like, oh, your family should have stayed in Medellin and watched right. more family members die. And, oh, that's and crazy. Yeah. These people waiting who's, for your paperwork to go through. And their, their family members who, you know, 100 years ago, all they did was, you know, get a ticket to America, come through Ellis Island, have their name messed up. They're, you know, three days in quarantine and they're, they're out there pushing a sausage cart trying to make it in New York City. Which is, a, you know, is the American dream as far as I'm concerned. Um, and, and also, let's not forget about the frugality, the industriousness that, uh, that, that immigrants bring this country. Th you know, these, these folks, <laughs> it's, it's them that built this country. It's that attitude. You're fat and lazy at uh, third and fourth generation. You're not doing it. You're, you're not the one yeah. who's bringing oh, us forward. Yeah laughable to me when i hear people tell me these stories about uh people you know just living off of welfare or unemployment not that that doesn't happen i know people personally who 
probably could have gotten a job, but then chose to stay on welfare for a little bit or unemployment insurance sure. or anything like that. All those things but, should be I mean, stopped. That, Plenty of happen. Americans do that. that. I mean, Exactly. I mean, that's, yeah, exactly. That, I mean, that's, that has nothing to do with you being an immigrant from another country. That's just uh, when an opportunity presents itself and it's advantageous, advantageous to you, you're going to take it. It would be very, but very easy to when handle I, when that. I, it would be, I'm sorry. Thanks, Erica. <laughs> I appreciate it. We're coming up on a break. Thanks so much. 855-450 free. All they have to do is issue those people green cards and then, you know, make it so that people with green cards can't have access to the social welfare program. Or just get rid of the welfare. I, I, I hear you. That would be um, optimal, but you can imagine the caterwauling, uh, the cries of racism, whatever it would be. 855-450 free. Free Talk Live. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. Amanda Bosold here from Midas Resources. Today, March 14th, 2014, gold opened at $1,387.50. A one-ounce gold coin can be purchased for $1,437.37, $1,868 for a half ounce, or $359.34 for a quarter ounce. Again, that's $1,437.37, $1,868, and $359.34. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't tread on meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. Don't tread on meme, M E M E, helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value and they look neat too. Oh, well, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't tread on meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy to use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly, whether using iPhone or Android, just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at don'ttreadonmeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't tread on meme, your path to a voluntary society with honest money. Don't tread on meme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. I'm Mark Stevens of the No Stay Project. And are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're only helping the government. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, spread it. So get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. 
If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Eight fifty five four fifty free free talk live. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. You can call in and talk about whatever you want, but we've been talking about borders tonight here on Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you and Brian and Stephanie. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. You can also call us on Skype, and we our username is lrn dot fm and. If you call there, you're going to have to, it's your first time, you're going to have to send a request. We'll approve it in relatively short order. And you can call right in, and it sounds great, honestly. So we're talking about borders, and I thought that it would be interesting to mention the Free State Project. We're all movers for the Free State Project. We moved. We are immigrants to New Hampshire. <laughs> we moved across imaginary boundaries um, into, you know, sovereign land and have uh, pledged to work and exert the fullest practical effort towards the creation of a society in which the maximum role of civil government is the protection of life, liberty, and property, which is to say that that's not what it is today, and we intend to see that change. And that's a pretty bold statement. Well, somehow New Hampshire hasn't crumbled and, and, and you know, gone into the sea. You know, it's not, we're not in chaos There has been here. a little bit of caterwauling, though. Oh, there's always somebody who's <laughs> But don't worry. It's warm in Florida, and they've got plenty of state. They've got plenty of government there for you if you like it. Um, you can yeah. always move down any old time. Well, and, they complain because it's working. That's, that's, that's really it. That's <laughs> what it is. If you want to see what it might be like, check out the Porcupine Freedom Festival. It's uh, June the 22nd through the 29th. You can go to porkfest.com. That's pork with a C, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. And it is mm, 1,500, 2,000 liberty lovers camping in the woods for a week, vending, playing it's games. It's pure awesome. It's really hard to describe Pork Fest, but I've said before it's my favorite week of the year. Uh, it's If you want to be around a bunch of people who share a lot of your ideas and values, that is a great way to do it. And Single best recruitment tool for the Free State Project is the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Absolutely. There's something really magical about being around a lot of people, especially if you live somewhere where you don't have many liberty-loving friends. You know, There's just something that's so incredible about being around a lot of people who also share those ideas. So go to Porkfest and experience what it's like. Porkfest.com. Let's go to Justin calling in from Iowa. Justin, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Oh, yes. Hello. Thank you for taking my call. Um, I'm, I'm just calling regarding um, this buttress as well with the, your current topic uh, of regarding borders, and that is uh, this recent report about so-called al-Qaeda uh, encouraging attacks in the United States. Um, Car bomb attacks, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so there's a, a, a report that apparently al-Qaeda, whoever that might be, um, says that uh, you know, that it's a good idea for people in the United States to, you know, enact the fatwa or whatever and, uh, you know, blow crap up with car bombs. That's right? Mm-hmm. And that's the gist of it, yeah, I think. So what do you think the—you think that's going to happen? I mean, I don't—so far, I'm not scared. I mean, I guess it hasn't, you know, hasn't happened in a while. I don't know. Am I, am I afraid? I don't know about that, but— um... I mean, the the devil's advocate would say, you know, open borders are going to lead to, you know, um, Islamists coming in and and doing their, you know, doing their awesome. evil deeds. Absolutely. You're right. I, this is one of the ones that I missed on my list um, is the fact that open borders allow uh, the, the real terrorists to come in and do real terrorism. And my rebuttal to that is that. The real terrorists, every time they do their terrorism, the top of the list is the U.S.'s intervention, when they do it here in the United States or wherever, the, the top of the list is U.S. intervention in the Middle East. So, yes, in, in conjunction with opening the borders, 
the United States foreign policy is going to have to change dramatically. They're going to have to take uh, you know, troops out of places like Saudi Arabia, where they prop up uh, these dictators, and they call themselves kings, um, the, these dictators, and uh, you know, they essentially prop up their militaries. Those places need to be able to set up their own governments. And if people, if their people want to fight violently against their government, that's their government's problem, not the United States's. And the United States should buy its oil on the market like everybody else does, not provide mercenary troops to these uh, these countries in order to get lower priced oil. Guess who also can't come here from Saudi Arabia if we have closed borders? The woman who doesn't want to wear a veil, who or has drive, acid. She wants to drive. Yeah, the woman who wants to drive or has acid thrown in her face because she rejects a, a man who's suiting her or whatever. I think that's a Iran that that happened uh, not too long ago, but yeah. Sure. I, I'm sure I'm pretty ignorant about where exactly that stuff happens, but the point is closed borders prevent um, asylum, you know, people from seeking asylum who actually really, really need it. And, you know, about terrorists coming into the U.S., it's pretty convenient when the rhetoric is um, from the U.S. government that there are now domestic and so-called homegrown terrorists. And terrorists can be anybody. They could be the white guy around the corner. So you better be suspicious of everybody, including so-called American citizens. Uh, But then when they're talking about, well, we can't open the borders because terrorists might come in. Wait a minute. I thought there were already terrorists here. I thought there were so-called domestic terrorists. So which is it? There you are, Justin. What are your thoughts? Well, I would – I I agree with Stephanie there, and uh, I would also – just uh, rejoin, you know, that um, from a perspective of uh, constitutionalism, if I can use that word, um, I don't see anywhere in the Constitution of the government ruling us that says, um, you know, anything about borders or anything about militarized borders or checking papers or anything about regulating immigration. Yeah, it's. Um, I don't think the word right. citizens even used until the Thirteenth Amendment or Fourteenth Amendment, some, somewhere in there. And the first laws against people uh, from other countries or whatever being here were in the 1880s. Now that's a full-on hundred years, almost, um, depending on when in the 1880s <laughs> that sent after the Constitution was put in place, and more than hundred years after the Revolutionary War was fought. So. You're, I mean, basically half of U.S. history was without these laws, and these were called the Yellow Man Laws, and they were again specifically against Chinese people. Um, wow! And they were called Yellow Man Laws. Oh yeah, my gosh! Yeah. Yeah. I, I believe that's what they were called. Yeah. China, yeah, I believe that's what they were called. And don't forget that Texas and uh, many, you know, these places were basically stolen from <laughs> from uh, yeah. Spain. Um, right. And, so. Not that I have a problem with it. I think that uh, largely people here in the United States are freer than those in Mexico. And I think that's a good thing. But I, I think that everybody should have those opportunities and that if the United States became even more free by having open borders, it would put tremendous pressure on places like Mexico to shape up or ship out. Thanks for the call, Justin. I do appreciate it. Let's go to Brett calling from Asheville. Brett, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Oh. Thank you. Hey, just give us a real quick Hello? tease, and I'll bring you on in uh, the next segment. Uh, yeah, I, I just totally disagree with your premise. Excellent. Uh, Hold the line, if you would, please. 855 450 free. See, we're going to bring Brett on. It's not that you have to agree with us to be on Free Talk we Live. We like disagreement. 855 450 3733. That's the sound of your door being kicked in by an intruder with a single kick. Criminals know that your doors are weak and your alarm system can keep them out. That's the sound of the same door, now protected by the Door Sentinel. Standard locks, deadbolts, and alarm systems can't prevent forced entry. Harden your door and door jam with the Door Sentinel. Go to MySafeDoor.com. That's MySafeDoor.com and enter coupon code SAFE for 15% off of your order. The Door Sentinel, your home's first line of defense. Hi, this is Larry Smith. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. When the cleaners ruined some special clothing, all they could do was show us a sign that said they weren't responsible. But when they got the letter from one of our Legal Shield attorneys, he promptly gave us a check for $1,152. Worry less and live more with lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. 
That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. It's Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. Live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live, bringing you, well, you know, frankly, it's it's a little unusual to be able to get live programming on the radio on a Sunday night. And Free Talk Live, we're a stand for that. We've uh, done a live program for years, every single day of the week for years, 365 days a year, and uh, that's what we bring to you. We also bring you a free pound of coffee. You can go to coffee.freetalklive.com <laughs> and get a free pound. You'll have to sign up for the subscription program we have there. That subscription program allows us to put together, a th- we're hoping to put together 100 uh, microloans through World Vision to help people in foreign countries live a better life, break the general, uh, excuse me, the generational chains of poverty. And it's co- uh, all you have to do is buy coffee through us at what, frankly, are the rates for premium coffee. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, top 1% Arabica grade at coffee.freetalklive.com. You, you cover the shipping, we'll send you the pound of coffee, coffee.freetalklive.com. So Brett disagrees with what we've been saying for, frankly, the last hour and a half here. Um, we've been talking about open borders because I guess it's open borders day. And so uh, 
It's Free Talk Live. You get your opportunity to talk. Brett, go ahead and tell us. Thank you. Uh, we, we can agree on one thing. Canned radio sucks. Hear, <laughs> uh, <laughs> hear. <here. laughs> All right. Let, let me begin by saying, you know, you guys were talking about, uh, you know, I heard one of you uh, mention the, the fat, lazy generation that, you know, keeps hearkening back to the Constitution, if I, if I understood that correctly. I, uh, let me, let me I don't think that's right exactly. The, I, th- I thought we talked about a, the, the um, this generation. I think you said that, Mark, actually. This generation? You're talk, talking, no, the old the old people who uh, are are not like the immigrants. The immigrants have like a fresh perspective, are willing to work hard. The older people just want to kind of keep them out and protect their own jobs. Is that what you're talking I don't know. Brett, at? let's just say I did. Let's go uh, ahead well, and um, go with it. Okay, okay. well, that, that's kind of what I took from it. Uh, let's compare the, the Hispanic today who comes across our borders from Juarez or was it Medellin that was mentioned? That was uh, Colombia. For sure. Right, okay, yeah, terrible places, okay, you know, in, in Central America, uh, I don't know, Cuba, wherever, Mexico. Um, you know, listen, our founding fathers, they faced rulers that were unfair and dirty and rotten, and, uh, you know, they took up arms and they fought them and they changed this place. Um, now, granted, you can say, well, okay, we're not as good as our founding fathers. Well, neither are these people. They run from these countries with all these problems, corrupt police, corrupt military, cartels running everything, and they run here, and they take from us. Instead of standing and fighting and making things better in their own country, instead of taking up arms, they take up signs here and tell us to change our laws. I don't. So you're su- you're really suggesting cowardice. that Mexicans take up arms against their governments and the cartels that are in crime in their cities and stuff? Uh, I don't know. So they, it's actually really happening need... in some places um, where the uh, these um, drug cartels have taken over. Some of the town's folks basically are using the sheer strength of numbers to push these cartels out. Uh, but I, I think your that premise really sounds dangerous. But I like I dislike your premise, um, <laughs> Brett. And here's the reason: the so fact is, is that crossing our borders. What's that? And she says it sounds dangerous to fight the cartels. Well, you know how many how many illegals die crossing? Oh yeah, the border? lots of them, no doubt. Yeah, but that's because trust, it's I mean, it's illegal. Me. If it were open borders, right. they wouldn't die crossing them. But he's just he's comparing but, oh, and contrasting, and I think that there's it's a compare right. a fair comparison. So it's the close, question is close borders. Close borders would make these people change their country instead of trying to change ours. And I think that listen, well, you wait can a second, Brett. Change in those countries with closed borders. I think that it's to go. we know what closed borders look like because we have them, and so far yeah, it's I don't see much Mexico's changing. not changing much. Um, I mean, dictatorships like uh, you know North Korea, they've got pretty closed borders, not changing. It's China's um, that's telling, you know, it's Beijing that's telling Pyongyang that they've got to shape up or ship out. They see force, and um, you know when they well, that's, that's mon- that, that, that has to do with monetary issues. Uh, China's been propping them up for years and feeding their military. They're not about so, to pee on China, man. So, that's Pre- not gonna Brett, happen. the fact is the founding fathers ran, okay? Um, that's the point that I want to make they here. They ran? They ran. Our, our founding fathers ran? Absolutely. The pilgrims, the Puritans, the people who came over here, the, the people tend to go, uh, you know, there's... Right, but there were no borders here at that time. There was nobody here telling them, wait a minute, th- this is our land. Uh, the Native Americans? Yeah, no, talk about that. no okay, the, the okay. Americans. Native Na- Americans. This is even a better subject. The Native Americans were murdering each other for land all the time. Yeah. We just came here and showed them a better way to do it. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm not uh, going to disagree with you on that one, Brett. noble people everybody talks about. <laughs> right. That's a Hollywood creation. Oh, I tend to agree with you on, on that one. But the fact is, is that people are going to do the thing that's easiest. So if you have a 50% chance of dying by um, you know, going across the border and you have an 85% chance of dying by picking up a, 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 a pitchfork and going after the local uh, drug cartel... You're no, going to no, make the fifty no, percent no. chance. Dude, they're not going to take a pitchforks, man. Eric Holder sent tons of guns down there. They can find guns. Uh, <laughs> the and, average and peasant's going to have a difficult Indians time got, getting hold of the gun. I, I got to tell you one thing about the American Indians. Listen, guys, they were so far behind technology, technology wise. Uh, if we didn't get them, the Nazis would have. Somebody was going to take this land from these people. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> you know their their history is written by white people, okay, who don't give oh, a damn on, about man. them. And we invaded their land. I don't care if they were offering each other, then they were offering each other. But that's not even accurate because these people came up with the Iroquois in particular came up with world 
class ambassadorial setups. They were not just offing each other. And how did they do that without technology? I don't know the answer to that. But these people were not backwater. This is the exact Nobody. same thing. This is like tough love. Oh, we gotta we gotta close up the border so they can have tough love. I mean, the, come on. This is so. This no, is no, so. No, no, talking no. about backwards thinking. This is five thousand oh, year old man. thinking. And man, you we got to move beyond me. that. Oof. Wow. You have people. You have you had a people in the American Indian. Their average lifespan was forty two years because they ran around barefoot with a, a loincloth. Uh, you had you had other nations that had built ships and industry and guns and everything else. These people were way underdeveloped. Somebody was going to get them. How are we doing better uh, than them? We're offing millions of people every decade. We're not doing any better do, than they man. are. It's what people do. What do you, what do you want? I mean, no, it's, what well, exa- it's what people do. <laughs> that needs to change. We didn't come over here and show a better way of living. We just brought more efficient ways of killing. No, I, I disagree. A lot of them were killed by disease, too. It wasn't necessarily like... About 80, uh, 75% yeah. of them. Their, maybe their immune yeah, we systems were not as evolved yeah, to handle yeah, European germs. With scabies or something. Yeah. Well, no, it's not um, just the blankets, Brett. It was just it, you know white people being around um, the, with you know, their with filthy <laughs> germs. <laughs> their germs, and you know that's the way uh, yeah. that is. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's 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 one way of looking at it. But uh, you know, let's face it, guys. Uh, you're not going to change human nature. People kill each other all the time. If anything, Barack Obama but, should learn from Putin. We should invade Mexico and Central America and say, you know what, what? you guys are coming. What do you here want anyway? it for? We're gonna, no, no, it's just an idea. Now, hear me out on this. You just you invade all of these countries that, that, that you know people are coming here in droves from, and you just say, "Listen, we're doing you a favor. We're making you all Americans. We're going to do away with uh, I don't know uh, names in Nicaragua, you know, wherever El Salvador. We're, we're just going to just you know, it's all going to be America, just like with the Ukraine. And I bet you most of them would be fine with it, honestly. You know, I think that if you essentially said that you're talking about one government overrunning the other governments, yeah, that's probably true. But then you'd have a whole bunch of uh, Democratic constituents put into the play, Brett, um, and that's going to make the Republicans very angry. Um, do appreciate the call, though. Thanks so much. Let's go to Ryan. We've got a, he he got I, the calls. Rolling I'm in. still in shock. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll I tell mean, you what, Brett gets the calls rolling in. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Getting Ryan in Tampa. Ryan, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Yeah, that last call was really status. My God. <laughs> well, the U.S. kind of does calling... invade Mexico already. Like, we, we kind of determine a lot of, I shouldn't say we, they kind of determine a lot of the drug policy in Mexico. Uh, they, uh, all policy, essentially, oh, yeah, in, all, in policy. all of uh, you know this Western hemisphere. Ryan, if you'll hold the line, um, and we'll talk to you about uh, the topic, your topic here in just a moment. And you can call in, well, maybe not on that line. You can call in on Skype. Our username is lrn.fm. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. 
General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right, General Steel, America's leader in pre engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices a 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right, that's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866 91 Steel. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866 91 Steel. That's 866 917 8335. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. Phone lines are just about loaded here. On the live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. Right after this show, I'm going to go out and I'm going to invade Guatemala. 855-453. With sheer force of personality. That's right. Yeah, just flash him that smile. Show him your badge. <laughs> Show him the badge. That is my favorite libertarian joke. Yeah, I love it. me too. <laughs> it's a, uh, apparently, uh, a, a, you know, some kind of drug enforcement agent comes onto a rancher's farm. The rancher says- Says I have uh, to inspect your property. Yeah, I'm here to inspect the property for drugs. And the rancher says, whatever you do, don't go in the back 40. And he says, do you realize who I am? I'm an officer of the United States government. Yeah, Here's do you my see this badge. badge? Do you see this badge? <laughs> and uh, the farmer's like, okay, goes back to doing what he's doing. And the guy, of course, immediately goes off to his pasture and, and finds uh, Brutus, the, uh, the, the, the one-ton bull. And um, <laughs> Brutus uh, being chasing him around the pasture, the, uh, the farmer gets up on the fence and yells to him, show him your badge. <laughs> show him your badge. <laughs> Love that one. So um, one one organization that will not show you the badge, ProXPN. Yeah, if someone shows ProXPN the badge, uh, ProXPN is going to show them the door. Uh, and they, they really will. <laughs> They're like the, Brutus the Bull. Yeah, they, they are. <laughs> I mean, freedom. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, and what is ProXPN? ProXPN, it is a VPN service. Uh, it is a company offering probably 
I think the best VPN service out there, in my personal opinion. Uh, they don't keep logs. Okay, now VPN. I should say that first. VPN is virtual private network. What that does is it encrypts all of your online activity before it gets to your ISPs, before it gets to Comcast, before it gets to Verizon. Your what you're doing online, no matter what if you're doing in your web browser, in your messenger, or on your game, whatever, it's getting encrypted before it gets anywhere else. So if you value your privacy, this is what. You want you want Pro XPN, uh, and so because of that, there's a lot of VPN services out there, but they will keep logs of what you do, even though it's not going to Comcast, it's going to them. Pro XPN isn't going to keep those logs. Okay, very very important, uh, and they use Open VPN, which is as secure as it gets when it comes to to virtual private networks. Okay, it's open source. It's been checked out by the geeks for a long long time. This is the real deal. You can use it on anything. One account works on all your devices. Uh, Android, OS X, Windows, you know, iOS, Linux. Linux. The setup on Linux is a little different, but otherwise, all very easy. Even on Linux, it's easy. So go to proxpn.com slash FTL. You can use the promo code uh, FTL20, and you'll get 20% off of whatever you decide to go with at ProXPN, 20% off the lifetime of the account that you go with. And they even accept Bitcoin, which uh, really, I mean, what other greater liberty statement is there today? So check it out, proxpn.com. Let's go back to Ryan in Tampa. Ryan, what were your thoughts? Hey, um, last night you guys were talking about the kid with the knife that uh, got had it in his car, and uh, he, I guess it took away his dreams of joining the police after military or after being in the military. Yeah, he was uh, actually uh, he was joined. He, he had signed up for the military in some kind of uh, early thing, and uh, he was kicked out pending the um, you know whatever the resolution was of the case. Yeah, so I just had a quick comment about that. I think that's great <laughs> because uh, it's an easy solution to the government. We could give if we gave everybody a felony, nobody could serve in the government. That's a great idea. <laughs> Well, yeah. you know, what What are the numbers? Isn't there a study that came out that said before 23, how many people, before the age of 23, how many people oh, are committing like a felony? it was like 30% of males It was a really high something. number. 40%. Yeah. Wow. 40% were That's arrested. Awful. Now, that doesn't mean that it went all the way through. Um, I think that there's, yeah, I mean, there's probably a lot of, a lot of cases get dropped. So. Some percentage of those are going to be felons, though. And I suspect that um, one thing that uh, the criminal justice sort of studies of the criminal justice sh system have shown is that it appears to be either intentionally or unintentionally racially biased. Right. Like there's um, <laughs> the white kids seem to end up in, you know, with their charges dropped in programs that right. uh, keep these things off their records, whereas the kids of other ethnicities tend not to have their you know, have these things uh, dropped or so, just or it's a. Um, economic thing, you know, poor, poor people it's can't afford just, lawyers. It could be that. Yeah, no, it's not just that. But it's, it's, yeah. it doesn't seem to be just that. A poor white kid is more likely to be convicted than a rich white kid, right? That much is certainly true. Ryan. So yeah, that's all I want to say. I just think it's a the government's giving us a they're giving us a bone here to like get everybody an easy way to get rid of the government. I mean that's. Great idea. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work in the long run, but I do appreciate it. <laughs> right on. Let's go to Jason it's calling be in a lot from of uh, collateral damage on that one. Tennessee, Jason, you're on Free Talk Live. Oh, hey, I just wanted to, to talk about uh, some of the immigration issues. Uh, one thing is like, uh, you know, Mexico. Mexico is a country that you know is uh, has has. Uh, <laughs> What's you know, going on over there? <laughs> Sorry, my son was going crazy, but uh, no, uh, Mexico, you know, ha has drug cartels and stuff running their country, and people have coming over here, you know, as citizens and stuff, which is, you know, I understand and everything, but, you know, like, my kid has to go to school and learn four years of Spanish now, you know. Is it mandatory? It's mandatory, and I, I don't understand that because it's like, there, before this, there was no, no, really no law. On, on any foreign language at all, and I don't understand why my kid has to learn Spanish. I mean, to me, you know, they're learning the language of, you know, we're mostly third world countries. I mean, almost, I mean, practically. I mean, I would rather my my son have the choice and my daughter have the choice, you know, to learn Latin or... Latin? You know, Latin. Chinese, because those are the people that own the country, for God's sake. I mean, they're the ones that hold the most uh, foreign debt. Latin has been... Uh, has been uh, 
it, it has been recognized as if there was ever one universal language in the whole world, it would be Latin. Yeah, but then you'd I want mean, to know Spanish. That nobody speaks Latin. That, but but you know, Spanish be, is based on Latin, said. so you'd want to know Spanish. Like I just don't think that it should be mandatory. I mean, I understand. Well, I don't think sure. The problem, yeah, don't send them there. to government I mean, school. Yeah. <laughs> the, the one issue there is is that and, essentially and pay, paying for government school is mandatory, and that's really the problem. A school should be able to have whatever curricula it wants to have, but you shouldn't be forced to pay for that school, and therefore, um, you know, feel incentivized to send your kid there and and use the money that you're forced to pay. Well, I homeschool my kids. Right. At, so that's even worse now because uh, you know and. Uh, and, and, you know, I just like, it, it's like you come here and be like, well, like Mexico, Mexico, once people get here, it's like you would think that they would be more inclined to, you know, want to learn English and stuff like that. Well, I don't I think, think it's the Mexican. The- wait, wait, Jason, the Mexicans aren't forcing you to learn Spanish. The people in your school board or whatever are the ones who are thinking that it's a good idea for kids to learn Spanish. And it may be a good idea. Generally, but it's a good idea. What's legislation that? that's passed. It's legislation that's passed. It wasn't passed by you know, Mexicans. But it was pushed by, by people that, that are, you know, immigration support of, you know, of... You don't of, know... Of, you have evidence for the people that supported it? I mean, you have evidence for the claim that uh, the people that supported this are the same ones that, uh, you know, are uh, supporting immigration reform? No. No, okay. I don't. But I, I would just... I would just but it, it, well, the other thing is, like, also, is, like, I think that one of the biggest misconstructions is that people say, like, that the immigrants are taking jobs that Americans don't want or that they're not willing to work. And I just don't think that's true. I mean, I've seen them clear out a meat pack here that had nothing but illegal immigrants working there and INS came and cleaned it out. And all kinds of uh, American families that people that were here legally, I mean, were in their that wanted ways to feed their kids and support their families when they're filling out applications and wanting to get a job for, you know, the regular 1375 for being a, a hardworking meat packer or whatnot that's mandatory pay or w- whatever the wage is or whatnot. There's a mandatory pay for meat packers in Tennessee? Well, there's a mandatory meat. There, the minimum wage is set a little higher, I believe, for, for meat packers. Um, I oh. mean, but is it a union job? Know. It's not. It's not a union job, but I mean, when the illegal immigrants are there, they're not paying them the same amount of wage, and INS well, clears them out. That much is true. Say, well, Likely, they they can certainly pay for folks lower, but jobs. that's because of the People illegal do. status, not because of open borders. Um, you know, the fact is, is that you can. As an employer, I can basically hold somebody in a low-level slavery position if they're illegal, because I can say, "Look, if you try to leave, I'm just going to tell INS your address." Right, exactly. Thanks for the and call, I Jason. I appreciate that. it. Um, let's go on to Blue calling in from Tennessee. Blue, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, you guys. Let me just. And this is Stephanie. Hi. Um. Hey. You know, when you look at the big picture of things, the one thing in the 1800s with immigration happened to be that there was assimilation. As- assimilation. When you, yep. the, yes. Okay, hold the line, Blue. Um, I'm going to talk to you about this in the, in the next hour. Hold the line. 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. something you don't hear on the radio every day, someone who can't see. I am totally blind, and I go through periods where I'm unable to sleep at night and feel like I'm constantly running but can never quite catch up. But this isn't a sleep problem. It's something called Non24. Learn about the link between total blindness and your symptoms. Visit learnmorenon24.com or call 855-856-2424. Sponsored by Vanda Pharmaceuticals. 
MineThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MineThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MineThings.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Friday, March 14th, 2014. Radio VR News. Is the U.S. deporting too many people? Under heavy pressure from Hispanic groups, President Obama has ordered a fresh review of deportation practices. White House correspondent Mark Smith reports. The president told members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus he understands the pain of families separated by deportation and again faulted a broken immigration system. But this time he said he's asked Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson to look at current practices and see if something can be done to make enforcement more humane. Obama's been under heavy pressure from Latino allies to curb deportations that have accelerated even as efforts in Congress to overhaul the system have stalled. But before now, he's argued the law gives him no choice and only Congress can stop the tearing of families apart. Mark Smith, Washington. The Flight 370 mystery continues. Correspondent Jackie Quinn reports the estimate that the missing jet was still flying for four hours after it was reported missing has led to a wider search area being explored. The Boeing 777 had left Kuala Lumpur and was about two hours into the trip to Beijing when radar contact was lost. The plane was initially thought to have gone down over the South China Sea, but now the search is being widened. According to defense officials, a destroyer, the USS Kidd, is heading to the Indian Ocean, and a U.S. surveillance plane will scour the Strait of Malacca, while another searches over Malaysia. The top U.S. military commander for Latin America says a lot of drugs are flowing out of the region into the U.S. There's not much she can do about it. National Security Correspondent Sagar Magani has the details. With the three American ships he has now, General John Kelly figures he's able to get about 20% of the drugs leaving Colombia for the U.S. The rest get through, and without more ships and surveillance capabilities. Much larger amounts of drugs will flow up from Latin America. Kelly, who heads the U.S. Southern Command, says he could intercept a lot more drugs if he had 16 ships. Something that flows with a helicopter. But Kelly says he's also realistic, saying budget cuts have slimmed everybody's resources and Southern Command is often the last priority. Sagar Magani at the Pentagon. The Obama administration is proposing new rules designed to protect students at for-profit colleges from amassing huge debt they can't pay off and still pass judicial muster. Correspondent Ross Simpson explains. The proposed regulations would penalize programs that produce graduates without the training needed to find a job with a salary that allows them to pay off their debt. Schools, for profit or not, that don't comply would lose access to federal student aid programs. If finalized, the regulations would take effect in 2016. The for profit college lobby is expected to vigorously oppose the proposals. In 2012, they convinced a judge that similar regulations were too arbitrary. Ross Simpson, Washington. The International Monetary Fund is backing efforts to reduce differences in incomes around the world. The reason? The IMF says the wealth gap could lead to political and economic instability. Correspondent Diane Kepley has more. The global financial institution is recommending a number of steps to help reduce or eliminate income inequality around the world. It's a relevant issue for 
most countries. IMF spokesman Jerry Rice. Inequality is not uh, conducive to sustainable growth. The IMF says it favors an expansion of income taxes to reduce a reliance on sales taxes. It also recommends a reduction in tax breaks for the wealthy. Such proposals have typically encountered stiff opposition from policymakers. Diane Kepley, Washington. House Speaker John Boehner has invited Pope Francis to address a joint session of Congress. Religion editor Steve Coleman has the details. Boehner says the Pope has inspired millions with his call for protection of the ailing, the impoverished, and the unborn. Vatican sources have said Francis might visit the U.S. in September 2015 when the church's World Meeting of Families will be held in Philadelphia. That timing could also allow the Pope to address the United Nations in New York. Boehner says he's offering the Pope an open invitation to put Washington on his itinerary. Pope Benedict visited Washington and New York in 2008. Steve Coleman, Washington. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Welcome back to the War for the White House Bunker. A troubling new report from the Shuttleworth Institute shows that due to Facebook, every potential candidate for the 2040 presidential race, no matter how smart or accomplished, is now completely unelectable. I'm standing in the 2012 Democrat grid with Jason Copeland. Jason, walk us through this. Yeah, we're looking at really a political crisis. The Democrats are currently searching uh, basements and uh, creepy backyard sheds huh. in search of somebody who was kidnapped at a young enough age that they have no online presence. That is a very interesting Could tactic. Be an option and the GOP has been looking at this young man. This is a 20-year-old Jeeves Jones. He's currently living in Appalachia with his uh, fundamentalist Christian grandmother and no so, electricity. So Jeeves has no Facebook page. Jeeves does not. In fact, he's completely illiterate. And uh, the Republican Party has begun grooming him for uh, a possible candidacy in 2036. All right. Well, at least there's someone. Thank you, Jason Copeland. Thanks, Andrea. Talk Live, 855-453. You can call in and talk about whatever you want, but it's mo been mostly immigration tonight. It's, uh, I guess, Open Borders Day. Somebody <laughs> decided somewhere that it's Open Borders Day, and as uh, trite as that sounds, uh, we've been talking about it all night long. It's Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. Live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. Let's go back to Blue, calling from Tennessee. Blue, where were you at? Hello. Hey. That in the 1800s, when there was immigration, it, the people that came over they assimilated with those who were in the original population, whether it be the Native Americans, whether it be those that were Anglo-Saxons that were here. They learned the language, they learned the skill set, they learned everything to assimilate. Now, I will grant you that those that are truly from South America, they do do that. Venezuela, El Salvador, Venezuela, they, I mean, they, they will do. But when it comes to Mexico, they will not. They refuse to. They will not learn the language. And I, I've seen it in convenience stores where the convenient personnel has to speak Spanish in order to conduct a transaction. In Hong Kong, um, in Hong well. Kong, a waiter has to know six languages in order to get a job. Now, they're reasonably well compensated because they know so many languages, but this is what I've heard, uh, not that I've been to Hong Kong, I haven't, um, is that uh, they need to know this kind of thing. Now, I want to know where you get get these numbers from, Blue, because the fact is, is I've looked at numbers I didn't give about... you any numbers. Well, hold on. You've, you, you you said, you've said that Mexicans do not assimilate, and that must be either an opinion or a fact, and facts are based on numbers. So um, the what I'm because what I've looked at says that people in the early 1900s 
you know, the first generation, the the original folks moved here, you know, basically their numbers of folks that knew the language and didn't know are about the same as those that don't now. They had places like Little China, Little Italy, Little Poland in major metros. And there they spoke their native tongue and they managed to live their lives essentially speaking their native tongue here in the United States. And, you know, we're better for it now. We've got interesting places that we can go visit. And then their their gener- their next generation mostly spoke the language, the you know, English, and then the next generation after that didn't even speak the native tongue anymore. I know this because my grandmother Trob, she spoke um Grandma Pauline, she spoke German. Uh, we, you know, she tried to teach me, and I, I know a few words, <laughs> but I can't tell you much else. My, 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 um, her daughter couldn't speak much um, at all, and my mother can't speak German, and I certainly can't. Blue? I'm okay. sorry. At this very point in time, I cannot give you specific details, but I can certainly tell you that after listening to your show. It is the most amazing event of hypocrisy. What's that hypocritical about it? What's what? What am I doing because that's hypocritical? You, you, you adore to make fun of those that have a southern accent. I am southern. Now, if I now if I be talking to you bollocks, no, you wouldn't be talking about that. Yeah, using, an abonic, u- using a black accent really is unpopular, and I, I agree with you completely. It's not, um, for whatever reason, but it's just not politically correct, right? Like, I, I could use a southern accent, but I can't talk like a, some kind of characterized black accent without getting in trouble. I agree with you. But that doesn't uh, but make me hypocritical. If would, but if you would also make fun of those that are from Bostonia, from Boston, yeah. Or from New York. Well, right. So, it might make a difference. Hey, but I wouldn't you, want a brain surgeon that talks like this. They called me a chooch. <laughs> right. I, I agree it's with you. When, absolutely ridiculous. I do it, I when do it all the time. I, I use a New York accent to do gangsters. Um, and I do gangsters on a relatively you, you regular do, basis. You do, actually. I just, when was the last time someone was making fun of Southern accents on oh, the I show? Oh, I do it on a regular basis. Uh, this evening? Yeah, this evening when you were making fun of a cop, when the last time you made fun of a Wolfgangian cop? A what? You know, it, Is, are you just trying out you your accents on us? <laughs> uh, oh, Blue, I, I can only I, do I'm so many Stephanie, accents, I but I appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. Um, let's go to. I want to go to Jerry calling in from. I'm not sure. He's not making it clear to me. Jerry, you're on Free Talk Live. <laughs> So how are you doing? I'm from Rio Grande, Puerto Rico. Excellent. Okay, thanks. Listen, uh, I wanted to uh, address a situation that you previously mentioned, and uh, correct, uh, Puerto Rico is a part of the United States since 1898, since the Spanish-American yep. War. Right. It's territories. And uh, we were granted American citizenship, which is an incorrect term. A uh, correct term is the United States of America citizen. But, um, uh, we've been granted American citizenship since 1917, so therefore that's why recruiting is allowed here. And uh, the only problem with that is that uh, every time that the United States go to war, we have to go to war right along with it. We have no option, right? Yeah. Right, uh, right. But we, but we don't vote for the president, so it's kind of discriminatory because every time we, the United States go to war, we got to go with them. And don't uh, worry, Jerry, no I can't vote for the president either. Um, in New Hampshire, it was uh, the margin was sixty thousand people for uh, Barack Obama, and that was a, a, a razor thin margin um, in the last presidential election. But if I would vote one way or the other, um, it wouldn't make a difference because fifty nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine people made a decision for me. So, th- really, when it comes down to not having any electoral votes, it's the it's the smallest of things. Yeah, but it's not just that. It's, uh, we don't have any representation per se either. In the we house. Just have somebody that listens over there to whatever goes on, whatever law they want to pass, and it affects us down here. But they're like, well, we can't say nothing about it. We can, yeah. we, we can just say something. I, I hear you. I don't feel it. like mine, my so-called representation makes a difference. I don't get what I want. <laughs> There's certainly a difference in what we're talking about here, Jerry. Like you, You're in a different situation than we are, but don't worry we feel unrepresented too. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I do appreciate the it. Um, well, well, okay, here's okay, the other thing. We we have a Supreme Court justice, a 
Sonia Sotomayor. She's the United States Supreme Court Justice. And uh, she's Puerto Rican. And she comes down here for presidential elections. She can't vote for the president. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and then anybody born in Puerto Rico... Yeah, you can have my vote. Jerry, can, just can be, send me an email and tell me who you want to vote for. I'll you can have mine, too. <laughs> Pointless. Thank you so much for the call. Yeah. Let's go to, um, I got I got Dave on the Skypes here. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, good evening. Viva Cannabis. Long hey, live Puerto, Free Talk. Hey, Viva, uh, Puerto Rico is just held captive legally. That's all. We just took captive that island and just... <laughs> That's why he's in the predicament they're in down there. But yeah. anyway, but anyway, I'm uh, calling because of the borders here. The powers that be want the one world order, right? But what we see, what they're doing with the borders, don't go along with that. They just, you know, now everybody's got to have a passport. You got to let them feel you all up and this and that. And they're tightening down the borders. So it's like, the cards telling what's going on on the table, you know, like these one world order just wants more control, man. They're, it's like the eco. Who are these folks? It's like the eco Nazis, man. You know that you don't hear them. Are they part of the one about, world order? You don't hear them talking about cannabis, how no. how how green it is, and how ecological sound it is. You I'm know, sure, it's green. But they're but they're but they're, but they're just telling us. You know, we got to stop doing this and we got to stop doing that. And we they're not talking about that. We got to grow this plant and, and free us from from the, you know, the tyranny that's ripping up the ecology that they claim. It's the same. It, well, borders same, are a great way to control people. I mean, right, yeah, right. it's that's, the fence that and, keeps the cattle the eco, in. And the ecology is. Dave, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. You can give us a call at 855-450-FREE or LRN.FM. I can only take one call on um, on Skype on LRN.FM at a time, so uh, if you're calling in the midst while somebody's here, I have to drop you. 855-450-3733. to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping Make a difference in the world. And one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends. To prove just how good it is, we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience. All you do is cover shipping. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Buzzbox Coffee is organic, so it contains no pesticides or toxins. It's shade grown, so less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800 686 2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800 686 2237. 
Are you about to meet the media? If you're about to be interviewed, do their homework for them. Know this about the person who will interview you. He or she is busy, so expect minimal, if any, preparation. He or she doesn't know as much about your topic as you do. He or she isn't as concerned as you are about getting your message out, so you need to take responsibility. Provide a biography and fact sheet, photographs, or other materials that tell your story story. Reporters won't be put off if you supply frequently asked questions. Remember, Public Speaking 101, at the end of the speech, what's the one thing you want them to remember? You can download the document I supply to reporters who interview me and squirm through a video that demonstrates how not to conduct your media interview at www.survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com while our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. The live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live. It's Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. 855, mm, excuse me, 855-450-3733. Came back from Florida and I got a little something going on. I didn't get like full on sick, but you know how you get that sort of half sick thing. So pardon me if my voice cracks on, on you this evening. I'm not trying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just so, like a excited prepubescent boy who's so happy to be on the air that his voice is cracking. I don't know what you mean, Stephanie. <laughs> You know, they say women can't do a falsetto. And I don't think it's true. Can you talk higher than you talk? Yes, I can totally talk higher. You Like, why can, Why wouldn't women be able to constrict their vocal cords and men can? I, I, I don't know. I mean, we can totally do it. Sound like a balloon. <laughs> it's just sucked on some helium. <laughs> um, manventureoutpost.com. They've got... They've got all kinds of things over there, whether it's uh, camping accessories, um, you know, hiking gear, water purification systems. They've even got uh, flashlights and knives, handguns, long guns, whatever the outdoor enthusiast, be it camping, hunting, survival or shooting, um, whatever they whatever you be it you or someone you love, whatever they might need. You can get it at manventureoutpost.com. You get the name brands, which raises your chance of getting a better item and you get them at the best prices. They've got a best price guarantee. Manventureoutpost.com. It's a family-owned operation. I've been doing business with them for years. I love getting my stuff from manventureoutpost.com, and I think you will too. Manventureoutpost.com. I'm going to take the longest waiting folks here, so let's go with Mike calling in from Maryland. Mike, you're on Free Talk Live. Thanks for waiting. Hey, uh, thanks for taking my call. Uh, it's only been 41 minutes, but that's okay. Uh, I, enjoy I should get a little shock in my seat for every 10 minutes that goes by on somebody's uh, call. Go uh, ahead. Be careful uh, what you wish for. Okay, now I want to talk about the border situation. Uh, uh, when you mention open borders, do you mean that there's no restrictions on anybody that comes in? It's com completely open borders and anybody can just come and go at will? That's what we're talking about this evening. Now, I haven't gotten too far through the list of the global benefits of open borders here from uh, openborders.info, but that's what we're discussing this evening, yes. Well, then, uh, don't you want to make sure that no murderers or child molesters or other criminals or drug dealers cross 
our border into this country. Well, let me ask you this. Um, if you if you just put up a border patrol for just that, now people are um, currently by the millions coming through the border, sneaking through the border now. And if Some you, of them are probably criminals. Yeah, they probably, I'm certain they are. And if you pared down border patrol by say, oh, I don't know, 90% because you're letting just about everybody else through except for murderers and child molesters and apparently the, uh, the odd arsonist, they're still going to get through because they can't stop them. Well, if we have closed borders, then they can't. If you pair down... How the, do you close the borders? The, well, if you pair down the border patrol, uh, I mean, if you have porous borders, uh, how, how can you ensure that, that, that the criminal element won't get through? Okay, all right. I want to bring... I, I want to ask... I'll, I'll, Mike, I'll ask you this question. Is France a comparable country to the United States? As in, would you recognize it as being a country as well? Sure it is. Okay, Spain... Okay, just just make your point. What are you driving at? Okay, we, we my, what I'm getting at is it's time. called the it's called the Schengen area. Okay, and what this is is in Europe, it's 26 countries, not all of which are part of the EU, where there are no requirements for crossing borders between countries, and there aren't these like massive you know hysterical crime rates. Uh, there oh, aren't oh, there oh, are oh oh I, oh oh contrary. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, Sweden, five percent of the population are Muslims, and they're responsible for like ninety. Five percent of the rate. Okay, but right, well, hold on. Hold, let, all right, that's good. Let's talk about this. But then we also have France, who just a few years ago had a had a Muslim riot problem. Somehow that riot problem didn't spread into Belgium or into Spain, and the borders are open. It stayed there. Somehow these cultures, and I think it's pretty, well, especially like with with language. Okay, count your blessings. Well, uh, let's just restrict this. To no, the there's God. no blessings. There's no God. No, uh, no. Let's just. <laughs> Let's just restrict this to to the United States. No, 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 no. That's not the country I live in. No, okay. we're talking about the United States but, here. Okay, okay. so all right, because those other sure, countries don't matter. I'm pretty sure there are already criminals and molesters and all kinds of bad people who are in the United States. We can't predict crimes before they happen, and it, even if we could, it would probably be a pretty invasive process to try. So, I mean, what are you suggesting? Well, Mike, what if all the murderers? So, 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 so by your quote unquote logic here then we got to let more criminals in because we already have some. Yeah, they're already criminals. in Washington, D.C. Mike, <laughs> it's not about letting people in. Listen to me for a second. Look, there are poor places in the United States. Let's look at uh, places like Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, parts of Georgia. Now, these places have criminals. Those criminals can travel wherever they want in the United States. Why don't they go to places that they can earn better money and commit crimes there? You know, you you can't you can't make a comparison between intrastate and 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 uh, uh, borders between countries. Those are two entirely different things. Well, I think okay, I can, that's I why did. I brought up the Shenzhen area because but that is between countries. You, you, everything that we bring and, up, and, you don't want to listen to. <laughs> you can't stop murderers from coming across the border, Mike. The fact is, millions of people come from China. You can't put up the. The Pacific Ocean doesn't stop people from coming into this country illegally. So it doesn't but matter whether do they're murderers best. or whether they have but tuberculosis. We but we can do our best to stop criminals. Seventy-five uh, percent. At what the, cost? Uh, uh, the murderers in California prisons are illegal aliens. So what does that where, tell you? Can you post that evidence um, on FreeTalkLive.com? Just post right. it right there because I'd take, like to take a look at and, that. And how uh, how uh, tyrannical, uh, how invasive are we going to get in the search for people who could potentially be criminals? How do you tell a criminal before crime. they commit a crime? Well, do you it, have to search their brain? I mean, what are we what are we talking about here? What happened to want well, to uh, having a dangerous you know, liberty? You know, what happened to that? That's a background check uh, like we did with Ellis Island. Agreed. But the fact is that if you wanted to get into this country in 1903 and you were convicted of some kind of crime, and don't forget that there's a lot more criminals these days than there um, were back then because of all the victimless crimes, um, you just came into some place besides Ellis Island and you went to work because there weren't papers. Yes, but uh, when, yes, when but people came to Ellis Island, say, they, they had to go through a rigorous. They had to be checked physically. They had to make sure that they weren't three days. You call that rigorous? Yeah, society. I wouldn't say that's rigorous. I, I appreciate the call, Mike. Oh, Thank yeah? you so much. Um, let's go on to, oops, Ed and Colin uh, from Tennessee. Ed, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey y'all. Hey, hey Ed. Ed. Hey Ed. Don't Good be talking you. about this southern accent. Hey Brian, and you settle down over there. <laughs> <laughs> Simmer down, Brian. Definitely, uh, don't be laughing. 
<laughs> uh, what are you gonna do, Ed? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, nothing so helps the brain as l- learning multiple languages. Yeah. yeah, actually, there's there's a great saying that that I learned in the army, which was uh, when you learn another language, you actually you get another soul. Uh, now, I mean, I don't believe in the soul, but it, it's an interesting prospect. Yeah, polyglots Brian, um, look, apparently look, look. think differently. Actually, their brains Brian, work differently. You're talking to the wrong person about a soul. Yeah, no, I know it. <laughs> I'm the wrong person too. <laughs> hey, but uh, uh, those things, I never assimilated. Oh yeah, you, Where'd you... Where'd you, I never signed the assimilated uh, uh, sheet. Did y'all? But uh, there's a social contract that says you need to speak English. No. <laughs> Ed, thanks for the call. I appreciate it. 855-450-FREE. Got a bunch of people on the line. Sorry. 855-450-FREE. Free talk live. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. Or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Free Talk Live. This is the first time I've heard your program. I'm, t- I'm hearing this person talk about what a wonderful thing it would be if we had legal drugs. Yes, I don't know Andy. where you're getting your information from. I think you've lost your mind. I'm telling you. I'm, oh, you don't want to hear. You no, don't want to no, hear reality. I want to hear everything you want to hear. You don't you want to hear say. reality. Okay, Please, well then, knock then me over with reality, like Sandy. Twelve year old, you know. I'm telling you what about the war on drugs? <laughs> if you see people on drugs, you might change your mind. Man, look, no, why, my wife. No. My wife He's works in a drug treatment center, lady. Oh, good for her. There you go. Good for her. Sandy, okay. I've smoked copious amounts of marijuana. I, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that a bit. That's probably what's wrong with your brain. I've been around plenty of people that have taken you drugs, Sandy. You got a fact Sandy. for me, and, uh, Sandy? One of them? Fact? I don't have statistics. Sandy, we're yeah. not asking people to smoke marijuana. We're just saying let's not make it illegal. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Do you love coffee as much as I love coffee? Here's a delicious way to drink the best of the best coffee and make a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox Coffee. And you can try a pound for free. All you do is cover shipping. It's organic, shade-grown, top 1% Arabica grade. 10% of future purchases help our efforts to give the gift of human freedom through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. The warning signs. First, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me, provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kid's education, my money my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis, battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. 
Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-453. You can give us a call, talk about what you want to talk about. We've got uh, one one phone line open. 855-450-3733. <laughs> it's a live Sunday edition of Free Talk Live with me, Mark. And Brian. And Stephanie. And if you want to get if you want to get into Bitcoins, you have to have a wallet. And the best wallet you can get for free online is the wallet at blockchain.info. Blockchain.info has Lots and lots of tools that if you're interested in Bitcoins, you can use to find out all kinds of things. They have anonymizing tools if you want to send and receive money um, in relative anonymous uh, anonymity. You can do it through blockchain.info. But first, you need to get the wallet. So the wallet is available at blockchain.info. You go there, you click on wallet. It's in the nav- navigation bar at the top. You can use it on your uh, iPhone. You can use it on your Android. You can use it on your laptop or your desktop or your tablet, whatever you want. You can move between devices. It's awesome. It's encrypted right in your browser. They never possess your money. You don't have to trust them because they Bitcoin's meant to be trustless. So don't trust them. Blockchain.info for the best online wallet. (laughs) I like that. Don't trust them. (laughs) Don't trust (laughs) blockchain.info. Don't trust trust me. (laughs) Let's go to Pat. But trust Pat in Norfolk. Pat, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey man, what, what, what's guys? Uh, happy uh, St. Patrick's Day, by the way. It's Has it started up. already? Thanks, Pat. Or are you just celebrating early? Yeah, tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. That's right. But uh, look, uh, I, I was kind of wondering if you uh, got any intakes on that Malaysia Airlines that kind of vanished. Oh, I think Stephanie has it. The 777. Right in my back pocket. (laughs) Yeah, that's a weird story. What do you think happened to it, Pat? I think the pilots got something to do with it. I I think it's a terrorist attack. It's interesting. Um, there's all kinds of things. I, I'm going for the triple canopy crash. Um, I think that they uh, crashed on the land. And since the forest is so thick and virgin there that you just can't see anything. But... I, it's because I tend to take the, um, the the path of least resistance. I want the story to be, you know, uh, you know, Occam's razor, right? Like, I, well, I mean, aliens would be the clear solution there. I, the I, simplest I, explanation. I really want that to be the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, but I, of course, no, I don't believe in aliens. <laughs> but your, but your, uh, your uh, reptilian I, I, I masters really won't allow you. I, that's I am the reptilian master. Sorry, <laughs> go ahead, Pat. Sorry. You know, I really don't know what to think, but I, I'm just kind of curious. I, I think it might have something to do with terrorists, you know, like, you know, Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma City, every, all the other places, uh, New York City, Boston, you know. And Malaysia. Do you think people would allow a plane to be hijacked nowadays? Because I think, like, people know about it so much, they'd probably fight back. Yeah, yeah, but they got all that piracy on the ships and stuff all the time happening over there. I mean, why why wouldn't it be no different in the air? What if they? Um, what if it was the pilots and they close the cabin door and then there's nothing you can they can yeah. they can do? I mean, I don't know. Maybe they would tear through the cabin door to get the pilots, but then you may not even not even know if uh, if, if you're in a plane and it turns a hard left. And heads, I mean, it's a long distance flight um, from Beijing to I can't remember where. Um, it was a, it was a long distance flight in the seven seven seven. You wouldn't necessarily know where you are. The sky looks the same over Albuquerque as it does over Montana. Yeah, how would they know? Right, right, right. right. Pat, I do appreciate yeah, it. It's a very interesting story, but I have a whole bunch of calls. I've got to be just rigorous here on the phones, <laughs> um, getting to get through th- uh, with these folks. So let's go to Nathan in Texas. Nathan, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hello? How are you guys? All's well. What's on your mind? Uh, well, I think we need to build a large border wall to keep out the Ostrogoths and the Visigoths from the... <laughs> <laughs> the I am border. so glad that somebody <laughs> brought up the Ostrogoths and the Visigoths. <laughs> I mean, this is the single best way to describe uh, immigration, but nobody knows what I'm talking about. So go ahead, Matt. 
Oh, excuse me, Nathan. Naps. Well, I went ahead and listened to Thor's answer, or at least to uh, understand what the title meant. And uh, I thought it was it was amazing. I love this uh, Dan Carlin guy. Yep, so I, I, I shared last night on Free Talk Live's Facebook page at facebook.freetalklive.com a, um, a hardcore history episode called Thor, Thor's Angels. Hardcore history, I think, is, um, to me, it's just the most exciting podcast out there. Sadly, it takes them a long time to get them out. <laughs> but um, they're really great stuff. And well worth spending the money for the older episodes, too. And uh, if you're worried about uh, biker gangs coming in and taking over your civilization, go to Man Venture Outpost. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Handguns, long guns, defend against bikers with manventureoutpost.com. So I thought I'd repay the favor, uh, Mark, and re- uh, recommend a book to you that kind of has some similar themes. It's called Are We Rome by Cullen Murphy. Yeah. And uh, it has a lot. Ian would hate this book. It uh, uses the collective theme a lot, but it does <laughs> talk about Rome and uh, ancient Rome and the fact that the founding fathers were apparently big fans of this Roman stuff. Uh, you know, all the, all the buildings there in D.C. look oh, yeah. like Roman oh, yeah. buildings. And, um, you know, I, I, I heard some it. interview on it, but I haven't read the book. And it's I, a, sorry. I only do audiobooks. Yeah, it's a phenomenal read. Um, I disagree with some of its assessments, but by and large, I, I think it, it ends up being accurate. Nathan, I really I, like the cultural... Go ahead. I'm sorry? Go ahead. I really like the cultural comparisons. Like, for example, he talks about, you know, the, the battle at Judaberg Forest as being like kind of like 9-11 and how the, uh, the Romans kind of... Uh, you know, saw themselves as, uh, I don't know, I, I guess the, the Ostrogoths as kind of annoying, uh, unwashed immigrants, oh, yeah. like people. Sounds like you're uh, getting calls from people like that. <laughs> and uh, just this general idea of this, uh, you know, these, these finely manicured, uh, you know, Roman civilization kind of people and how they how they dealt with, uh, you know, their empire and the threats around them. And even has a funny section where it's talks about, like, the Green Zone in Baghdad. It was published around the Iraq uh, well, Iraq invasion, I think. And he talks about, you know, well, the Americans are kind of like the Romans. You know, they go over there and they take the American culture over there and they build the roads. And uh, then they sit in the Green Zone where, uh, kind of like the Romans sitting in their own camps. And, uh, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I really love the book. They should uh, thank us for it. Like Brian <laughs> Exactly. Thanks for the call, Nathan. I appreciate it. Sorry about that. I've got to be like I said. I'm I am I'm brutal on the phones tonight. Let's go to brutal, brutal temper, temper. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how's everybody going? All is well. Hey, uh, I wanted to call in because of some of this stuff that's been talked about tonight, especially with borders. It's amazing how. People have both sides of the argument with this border thing. Like, if you don't like the law here, they tell you to leave. But every country has closed border. Well, every country I can think of. Every country you want to go to. Anyway. The U.S. Uh, State Department has been integral in uh, increasing the restrictions just between countries that don't care about immigration very much um, and, and their rules. So, yeah, I mean, absolutely. The, the State Department wants everybody to stay in their little boxes. But then if you don't like it, you can leave. And how do you leave if you can't well, leave? That's a ridiculous statement made by jingoists. If you don't like it, leave. Really? <laughs> where would you like me to go? You want me to go, oh, Somalia. You want me to go to Somalia where the United States and the U.N. have uh, knocked down every government that they've tried to put in place over the last two decades. Is that what you think? I have to go there? I mean, that that's okay, why should I go to Somalia just because you say so? Did George Washington go leave? Um, you know, the the gentleman uh, called in earlier and, and made a, a point about um, how, uh, you know, the, the founding fathers fought. And I can tell you, to some extent, they found their piece of ground and they said, we're staying here and we're going to stand for what we believe in. Um, I don't think that shooting people is necessarily the answer, but, uh, you know, I can understand they're upset. How was the Merlot? Which Merlot are you referring? Oh, I see. You bought uh, you bought me a Merlot at the uh, Texas Bitcoin conference. Oh, uh, that's nice. And it was nice <laughs> to see you out there, Temper, and your dad. What a nice guy. Thanks for the call. Let's go to Matt calling in from Tennessee. Matt, it's a lot of Tennessee calls tonight. Matt, you're on Free Talk Live. Well, Matt, okay. tease it real quick, and we're going to a break, and I'll uh, bring you bring you right back. Okay. Um, I love your topic. Okay, hold the line. Matt loves Matt loves what we're talking about here. 
855-450 free. I might be able to squeeze you in. You know what? I probably won't be able to, but I'll try my best. <laughs> 855-450 free. Free Talk Live. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. Please pay attention, folks. AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com is a Christian, veteran-owned wholesale preparedness company. Our mission is to get the Word of God out to all those in need of a Bible and who cannot afford one. We also provide great tasting freeze dried food from only 50 cents per serving, GMO free food, over 1,000 preparedness items. Plus, for a limited time, type in the word Genesis at checkout and receive 10% off your total purchase. That's AmericanSurvivalWholesale.com. I'm David Cordeni, President and CEO of Cigna. We're proud to support the March of Dimes by walking in the March for Babies. It feels great to know that the money we raise funds life-saving research and programs that improve the health of babies. With your help, we can make this year better than ever. Join Cigna and our coworkers across the country in March for Babies to help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthier babies. Start your team today at marchforbabies.org and march to help our babies. Thank you. If you are like most people, chances are you're malnourished. Most people do not get the 90 essential nutrients the body needs to survive. This lack of nutrition can lead to all sorts of health issues. If you don't feel as good as you'd like, or if you're looking to get a jump start on a new, healthier you, Longevity has your answer. With the Healthy Start Pack, you get all the nutrients your body needs. With all 90 essential nutrients and 115 fruits and vegetables, you get a supplement system that is antioxidant rich and beyond compare. The Healthy Start Pack includes products backed by 40 years of science and millions of dollars in research, like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, EFA Plus 90, and OsteoFX Plus. To order your Healthy Start Pack today, call 607-739-5595. Again, that number is 607-739-5595. Once you start taking the Healthy Start Pack, you will see and feel why our motto is 90 for life. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. 
Why am I giving that number? We have so many people on hold. <laughs> that is our number for future reference. Yeah. But we're kind of loaded up now. <laughs> Go to our Facebook page at facebook.freetalklive.com. Post to your heart's content there. Um, you can interact with listeners on posts. And it's a great opportunity because the fact is on the Facebook page, it is not just people talking pro-liberty stuff by any means. No, All kinds of different opinions going on the Facebook page. If you like the open forum that is Free Talk Live, please do your online shopping through shop.freetalklive.com because we bring you the ideas of liberty every day, but we give you the opportunity to rebut them too. If we're wrong on something, even if we're right, but right for the wrong reasons, we're happy to take <laughs> we're happy to take your call. On no, it. no, you guys are right by accident. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. Waiting all for the someone time. to call in about that. <laughs> I do that all the time. Uh, please use shop.freetalklive.com because it does help us to help you. Going back to Matt in Tennessee, Matt, again with your point. Um, I still want to deal with uh, the the law that has come from the unitary executive, and that is that the agreement between Vincente Fox, Paul Martin, and George W. Bush back in March of 2005, which erased the borders. Really? What was well, this? The agreement? North American? Uh, I, I know. North American Union. It's, it's part right. Of public record. Yeah, this was actually only one news source actually broke this. It was uh, Lou Dobbs. Okay. Who yeah. actually broke it uh, on his show? Is this the highway it. that was supposed to go from Canada to Mexico? It's a lot more than that. Okay. It's the Amero, right? Yeah, I haven't got there, and that's a great thing. It's a great, it's a great victory for liberty, but it hasn't gone through yet. Okay, good. But it's still on the table. Yeah, I, I, you know, I wouldn't doubt that uh, that the United States wants to see some uh, diminishment in the um, the. You know, the, the restrictions of borders. The pe- powerful people have to deal with borders, I too. I don't think they want a d- diminishment. They just want, like, a way that they can manipulate it to their advantage. Yeah, actually, <laughs> this, this agreement specifically states that there wouldn't be a lack of border patrols, just that there would be well, some it's degree. Interesting. It's interesting. Um, here, four or five years ago, I went down there to Pennsylvania State Community College, right down here near where I live. Uh, and they were trying to, uh, to have a debate. It was a local debate uh, in the Orange Route and Blue Route, and what they were trying to do was put uh, something that's consistent with the the NAFTA superhighway uh, through from Oak Ridge around Anderson County down to where I-75 meets I-40. And I attended that, and... Uh, there was no substance to it. It was just, you know, the, the, the argument was to, uh, you know, reduce the congestion on I-40 between exit uh, 3, 398 or something like that down here to where I-40 and I-75 meet. And, and the reality is, it is that Knoxville, Tennessee, is for commuters in that corridor they were trying to relieve. So, therefore, there wasn't going to be any change. So and this was all uh, just about interstates. I mean, it didn't. They didn't talk about uh, this North American Union at all. No, no, not at all. Huh. No, no. Most people are in compartments. They don't. They don't think outside the box. Most people are. Uh, Isn't that the truth? <laughs> It's very unfortunate. Yeah. Well, for me, I don't think that free trade um, needs a thousand sheets of paper in no. <laughs> yeah. the treaty. And that's where um, I come down on the issue. I don't know about all of these, uh, the, you know, the, the treaty of the Pacific Rim and uh, NAFTA and stuff like that. I haven't read all of these things. And I know lots of people have spent more time on them than I have. But I don't think you need that many piece, sheets of paper in order to uh, to talk about uh, freedom. Matt, I do appreciate the call. I've really got to get on to some other folks. Let's go to Jim Bob, calling from Arizona. Jim Bob, you're on Free Talk Live. Howdy. Howdy. I bet you think because I, I talk like this, I must be with stupid. Uh, I, I think it's a made-up name. Go ahead. It's my first and middle name. Okay. Actually, uh, James Robert. I, I, like, I like to tell my redneck Republican friends, we live in the, a country that's had the most open and porous borders for the last 400 years. 
and we're still the greatest country on God's green earth. But I, I should like to respond to something that you posed before I my call last night. I believe it was you about, I, I believe that violence sometimes most certainly does beget peace. For instance, after Little Boy was dropped in Nagasaki, formerly the world's uh, biggest, uh, biggest operating munitions town on earth, the Imperial Japanese Army finally surrendered, and they never committed mass murder ever again. And the, the extent to which they did commit mass murder so outweighed so, the, the harm that came to the Nagasaki people. Okay, so so you want to, you want everybody to keep in line through fear? No, I'm not talking about fear at all. Well, but you're saying the reason they stopped doing it is because they dropped the Little Boy. They were afraid to get dropped on again, right? Isn't that what you were insinuating? No, the, Jap- the Imperial Japanese Army... Uh, most of them finally realized Tojoism had come to a rotten end and that they were not going to win that war and that uh, my father wasn't going to have to leave Germany to go on another boat and on another o- ocean ride. But Jim, another the reason your father had to go was because politicians in Washington, D.C. would not accept the no, overtures no, 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 no. of... No? Sir, the Japanese, the Japanese, Imperial Japanese Army's overtures happened to have committed mass murder in the, in, in the millions before August, the second week of August of 1945, when they finally said, we quit, we can't take this anymore. What no What is the point? Hold on, I'm sorry, I did not understand what you're saying. So the overtures were being made before the bombs were dropped. I don't know what the dates are specifically. I'd have to look that up. You're catching me you flat-footed. You're kidding. It took not one but two atomic bombs before they said, okay, we quit. You're wrong. It took not no, one no, you're wrong, two. Jim. Jim, no, you're not. wrong. The fact is that the United no, States government right. said that they would take nothing but a full surrender. Japan said that what right. they wanted... I'm Listen, let me surrender. talk. I let you go. Now, you let me talk. The fact is... So let that, me respond. Yeah, you can go right ahead and respond. The, the United States, the Japan asked that they be able to keep an emperor. They had one caveat, and the United States government said, no caveats. And so they said, you will, you will have a, completely, a complete surrender without caveats, and... This, they dropped the bombs, and then Japan said, okay, no caveats. And okay, then the United States straight. government I actually let them you. keep the emperor. I, I hear you. Yes, we did let them keep the who's emperor. Who's we? You didn't let them do anything. So who's the bad guy here? Who committed mass murder in the scale of millions? Uh, the who, U.S. They <laughs> dropped a bomb. I mean, you oh, know. Hey, Stephanie, are you the chick from Citizens United, Citizens Link commercials? No. What, sorry, it's just conspiracy. You, you did Citizens United, United commercials. Citizen Link commercials. No. The Citizen Link commercials that Jay Sekulow or whatever. And you sound just like that chick from those commercials. They were awesome. That used to. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> so the United States of America again dropped Little Boy in Nagasaki, formerly the biggest operating munitions town on Earth, that had committed dropped so many bombs and so many innocent people for the previous 10 years, by the way. Uh, the Je- Imperial Japanese Army invaded Manchuria right. in 1931. Right. It was terrible what they did to the Chinese. No, I really have to go to somebody else. I, I, I appreciate it. I'm sorry. Um, where, what, where'd my call on Skype go? Here it is. Stephen. All right. Stephen, you got the last few, couple hey, of minutes. Hey, how you guys here. doing? Oh, my goodness. You're overmodulating. Stay a, li- a little back off your mic. Okay, how you doing? All, all this is well. like, see how many calls Mark can juggle before the I'm end trying. of the show. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. yes. Go, go ahead okay, with your great. point. Yeah, I wanted to point out just the, um, in the absence of the state's extreme regulation of the financial and business marketplaces, um, closed borders would be an impossibility. You, it would be necessary to have open borders to bring in people to work because of the extreme labor shortage there would be. In, in, a, in a productive U.S. where not everything's outsourced. Yeah, and this is, uh, if, you, if you saw competition, you probably would see wages decrease, there's no doubt about it, but at that point, then you'd be able to compete with places like China and Bangladesh and, and these sorts of things. Yeah, and the simple point is, the, you know, the economics of border control is, is flat, black and white, you know, for, for the people who say, well, there has to be somebody who keeps bad people out and there has to be somebody who keeps people from stealing my job. If they if they read anything about economics, they would realize that closed borders would be an impossibility. Businesses would be sending buses down to Mexico to bring people up to work. They are. Such a, <laughs> well, they are. You're right. That does happen today, but it would be a hundred thousand fold of what it is. 
I also think it's interesting. There's an Indian tribe, um, a Na- Na- Native American tribe that's on the border there, and their bo- their little nation spans the borders. U.S. government can't do anything about it. Yeah. Uh, you can't stop yeah. this. There's 5,000 miles of open borders in the U.S. You can't do anything about it. <laughs> Stephen, thanks they for the try. call. Yeah, thanks for <laughs> the call. You. Um, for in the meantime, freetalklive.com, our Facebook page at facebook.freetalklive.com. It's been Mark with you. And Brian. And Stephanie. Thanks so much for listening. Drive safe. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Free speech is protected on the internet, right? Not always. Government agencies try to limit free speech and commerce on the net. Luckily, when they do, the Institute for Justice is there to defend your First Amendment right to free speech. IJ helped set the first federal precedent for internet free speech in 1999, and ever since has worked to prevent unconstitutional roadblocks and cyberspace. Visit our website today at ij.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Liberty Conspiracy is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Friday, March 14th, 2014. Radio VR News. Is the U.S. deporting too many people? Under heavy pressure from Hispanic groups, President Obama has ordered a fresh review of deportation practices. White House correspondent Mark Smith reports. The president told members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus he understands the pain of families separated by deportation and again faulted a broken immigration system. But this time he said he's asked Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson to look at current practices and see if something can be done to make enforcement more humane. Obama's been under heavy pressure from Latino allies to curb deportations that have accelerated even as efforts in Congress to overhaul the system have stalled. But before now, he's argued the law gives him no choice and only Congress can stop the tearing of families apart. Mark Smith, Washington. The Flight 370 mystery continues. Correspondent Jackie Quinn reports the estimate that the missing jet was still flying for four hours after it was reported missing has led to a wider search area being explored. The Boeing 777 had left Kuala Lumpur and was about two hours into the trip to Beijing when radar contact was lost. The plane was initially thought to have gone down over the South China Sea, but now the search is being widened. According to defense officials, a destroyer, the USS Kidd, is heading to the Indian Ocean, and a U.S. surveillance plane will scour the 